All right, Chad, you're walking down the street, middle of the night, dead of night. You just got out of work. It's a late shift. You turn the corner, you see a vending machine that says free soda, but there's two guys standing in front of it. They're not normal guys. They're made out of shrimp. They're shrimp people. They're big shrimp guys. What do you do? Do you drink the soda? Do you drink the free soda? They offered it to you. It's free. It's it's sealed. It's a sealed soda. This isn't like an open can. That is it. You gotta crack that. You hear the tss as you crack that thing open, and it makes a sizzle sound. Is it branded or some weird random soda? It's a brand you've never heard of, but you think it sounds familiar, but you can't be sure. You just think it might sound, it might be familiar, but you can't, you, no one could be sure. Can I roll an insight check? No. <laughs> no, matter of fact, you fucking can't, dude. You can't not, look, sometimes life, sometimes life's coming at you too fast for you to roll a fucking insight check, you little idiot. You have 30 seconds to drink this soda all the way or you're gonna die. That's right. I mean, I don't know if you'll die, but it might be what you're thinking. Insight may tell you that you might die if you drink this, or you might be killed by them if you don't. Uh, you turn the corner, roll initiative. You see the soda and you see the shrimp, they're standing there hanging out, roll initiative. Fuck it, I drink it. Are they menacing? They look exactly as they do in this picture here. Like, I don't know what else to tell you. Excelsior. 141, thanks for the 10 gifted subs. Awfully kind. Thank you, thank you. Mega Zerax, thanks for the 6 gifted subs as well. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cartoon and all. If I turned a fucking corner and I saw a sentient cartoon 2D plane creature in my 3D fucking world, fuck out of here. How about you go back to the dimension you fucking belong in? How about that? Probably wouldn't even be able to comprehend me coming because I, I was on a different plane than them. Odds are, from their perspective, all that happened was I in a 2D plane that they can comprehend didn't move at all, and then all of a sudden, they felt an impact on their face. Because I, I, I look, chat, if you're not on their 2D plane, how can they even observe you? They're a 2D creature. Is this actually translated now? Yes. Although I'll be skipping all the plot, so. <laughs> Woo! Let me be clear. If you care about the plot of, man, this game's got a lot of words in it, and so does Library of Runa, which is also very good. But I'll tell you what, if you care about the plot, you can look it up or play it, my guy. They're both good games, and they're both, one's a, there's another game called Library of Runa, which is a direct sequel to this, and they're both very good. But uh, I'm not playing today for the plot. It's, it's long. I'm gonna skip all of it. He'll play Library of Runa on stream someday. Hey, it's okay, my guy. I pick up your copium uh, container. I pick up the canister of copium. I take it away from you. I'm never playing it on stream, ever. It's a card game. I don't play card games on stream and Library of Runa is maybe one of the most unapologetically brutal card games ever. I'm not doing that, ever. You don't have to copy it, man. You don't have to cope and believe. It's never happening, ever. And I like Library of Runa. I think it was an awesome game, but I would never stream that game in my entire life. It's more, it, it would be so boring. That game actually legit, last I checked, chat, look, in most games when you progress the game, you are allowed to redo, imagine playing Monster Hunter. Okay, this is probably the best comparison. 
Imagine being at like five star difficulty in Monster Hunter. You're hunting like Anjaneth or something. And you have five tickets to hunt Anjaneth. You use all of your tickets. The only way to get another ticket to fight Anjaneth is to go to a four star mission and hunt something there. But wait, in order to get a ticket to a four star mission, you're out of those. You have to go to a three star mission to get tickets to do a four star mission. So you can get tickets to do the five star mission. Aw, oh, fuck, I gotta go to the third star to get the tickets for the fourth star so I can do the five star. But I also need tickets for that because I used all of my tickets on the third star. So now you're back at, you're like walking in as a level 80 death knight to Elwyn Forest, essentially. Because you have to kill a boar so you can kill a gnoll, so you can kill like a small drake, so you can then go kill like a scary orc, so you can finally be given permission to kill a dragon, so you can go to Northrend, so you can get permission to maybe fight Arthas one day. It's just, it adds so many extra layers of bullshit. I don't know if they fixed that, but it was my least favorite thing of that fucking game. You lost me with this new metaphor, sorry bro. You're an idiot. <laughs> now, it's about as confusing as it sounds because I too was confused when I played it in real life. I was, I was baffled when I was like, wait, so this new thing I just unlocked, I have to go do the old thing again? But don't do the old thing, I have to do an even older thing again? It's very grindy. Like literally in order to beat Library of Runa, I had to install a mod, which just gives me all of the cards for any new thing I've done. I like stopped caring. I was just like instantly unlock everything. Cause I, I like couldn't, I just couldn't. It's a bit better about now. Yeah, maybe it's been patched, but uh, this game's also really grindy, but it's okay. I've added some uh, mods to make it a little bit nicer as well. There's some quality of life on this time. Essentially, if I restart, Cause this game, this game, this game's like, it's like being in an SCP zoo. It's like, it's, it's basically like running an SCP corporation, essentially. Uh, except instead, uh, the game is designed for you to lose. The game wants you to lose at a certain point. It's going to give you something that your zoo can't handle, but the game doesn't care. The game wants your zoo to lose. So that you'll reset, you carry over all of your knowledge and all of your technology, but you lose all of your character. Uh, I just added a mod that lets me keep my characters if they're not dead. So it'll make it a little bit faster in that, like, if I have to restart inevitably when the game's like, this is an SCP that if you don't talk to them every day, everyone in the entire building dies. But if you do talk to them, uh, everyone that goes into the building for the day dies. Enjoy my SCP. No takesies backsies. And then you say, I'd like to restart. <laughs> I'd like to not have this one. I'm going to burn all of my characters learning about it, and then I'm going to restart so I don't have it anymore ever again. I'll just restart. Yeah. I'm pretty sure when I played this like two years ago, that's actually the reason we stopped on stream, was because I got something that was so un... Like, it was impossible to adjust to it. Does this mod add more abnormalities? A couple, yes. There are a couple more. You got horribly fucked. Yeah. There were a couple times, but that's sort of the nature of the game. Is you just, sometimes you're, you're logging in and you hope you get something that's just like, if you walk in and say hi every day, I'll be happy. And then you get other ones where like, if you fucking don't perfectly micromanage me every day, I will kill everyone. If I hear someone walk into a room that isn't my next door, I will kill everyone. If you click on the fucking screen more than two times before you click on my box, I will kill everyone. <laughs> and that's the character. That's the SCP you had. The SCP next to them is like, just hang out with me. Like every once in a while. Honestly, I won't do anything if you don't, I'm cool. And then another one's like, I fucking, I will truly piss and shit myself and my piss and shit kill everyone in a two mile radius. 
uh, if I piss and shit. So make sure I don't do that. I need constant supervision. Mm -hmm. Star Child? Dude, the Star Child's like the easiest fucking anomaly in the game. I'm not talking about freaking Star Child. Which I remember perfectly because they were the easiest anomaly in the fucking game. You just you just set someone as the star child person for the day that babysits the kid. Everyone else, half the other anomalies are like, fucking, don't cut, don't even, don't even bother, reset. You get me? Reset. You can tell by the, how scary they look. It's usually an instant reset. The grandma. There's still, the reason I want to play this still again is because there's still a ton of anomalies I've never seen. Like, I didn't beat this game. I got like to a point where there wasn't as much mod support to like boost quality of life that eventually I was just like, I don't want to restart 18,000 times. Uh, I just don't want to do that. But I think that like, I don't know. I'm a person when it comes to games like this, where this game is very good, but it is like sometimes almost like obnoxiously obtuse and cruel so i don't think there's much of an issue if i like at a certain point if you're just like yeah i enjoyed it i'm gonna look up the rest of the story on a youtube channel though thanks i'm gonna use a wiki now so i can go play the next game where you guys just make it obnoxiously hard for a fucking no reason Dude, I actually beat Library of Runa, like myself, and holy shit, even with some mods, like, giving me, like, basic quality of life in that game, there were still parts where I stepped away and I was like, this game fucking hates my guts. I hate this. I hate my life. But they're good games, though. I don't want to make it sound like I don't like these games, because I do like them. It's just, I'll never play Library of Runa on stream. There's just no way. There's just no way that game, like, that game truly, even if it wasn't like a card game, does not give a fuck about you. And it will make you spend 30 minutes fighting a boss just to, to like, fa like face swap to something you didn't know is coming and instantly kill you. It just doesn't care, man. It's not like the zoo where you can like have some fun and like still gain things. In Library of Runa, the game's just like, what's up? And then just fucking instantly vaporizes all of your characters and you're just like, oh, I lost an hour. An hour? And you didn't even gain anything from it. Are you excited for Limbus Company? Limbus sounds like some kind of like weird brain, like segment of my brain, the Limbus. That just sounds, is that like a, sounds like some kind of brain disease. I actually haven't heard of that game yet. I'm probably, I mean, if it, when it's out of early access, cause I guarantee it's gonna be an early access release. But whenever they release it, sure. I heard that game is going to be a gotcha. Oh, then I won't play it. <laughs> oh, Chad, I thought you guys were suggesting like a real game they're making. No, 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 no. No, <laughs> no, I won't play that. That's not a real game they're making. It's garbage. No, I won't do that. I don't need to. Fuck that. He'll never play Genshin. Dude, I got enough other games that don't appreciate my time and hate me. I don't need them to also take money out of my wallet while I cry about having to feel compelled to play them every day. Okay. There's so many games out there that already fucking hate my guts and hate my time. You look like you wrote Alan Wake. What a... Weirdly niche comment. <laughs> you look like you wrote the game Alan Wake. What? <laughs> Rare insult. Uh? Who wrote that game though? I gotta play Alan Wake. I actually, that that's a stream I'm gonna do at some point. Cause I know for a fact that that's a stupid, like, pseudo horror game that you can totally riff on really hard for like a stream. 
That's like that's like a like stream shit post game. It's just like I don't think I'd beat it. And I think it's so, it's kind of long. I don't think I, I don't think that's a game I'd beat. It's okay. The DLC is actually good. Yeah, I know the DLC is okay. I don't know why some people- they're making a new one, aren't they? They're making a new Alan Wake. I didn't know that there was that much demand for a new Alan Wake. I mean, I didn't know the plot of Alan Wake, I never beat it, so... Ended up playing Control before Alan Wake. I never played that. Never played Control. Probably never will, considering like the ending got spoiled for me off of a fucking Twitch raid. Dude. I walked off while someone was streaming. I came back to the ending of the game playing on my monitor to a streamer I didn't know. And I was just like, this is exactly how I wanted the ending of this game to be spoiled for me on a monitor on my computer. So, yeah, I probably won't play it. I think it's fucking evil. <laughs> I think it's fucking evil to raid into a plot, like a plot driven video game. I'm just going to fucking say it. All right. It's like if I just... Dude, imagine if I ended my stream and I decide I'm just gonna raid into like a fucking like someone someone streaming Outer Wilds. Truly, it's just sending you guys into a landmine field and like seeing if you step on like oh they're discovering like an incredibly important plot point that ruins half the game for you. Evil. Evil. That actually happened to me. I like, I will not raid into friends if they're, like, I don't do that many raids at all, to be fair. But, uh, definitely a factor for me is if they're playing something that I think is going to ruin the game if I raid into it for someone, because, man, there's not many good games, all right? There's not as many as we'd all like to believe there are. And to have a good games plot ruined by like spoilers because you got forced into it by a streamer is said. Like I will have zero interest in a game if the plot's ruined for me. I can't get into it no matter how good the gameplay is. Raid into a fish playing Pokemon or something. Dude, I had Pokemon Fire Red spoiled for me, dude. I had it all ruined, bro. By a fucking fish, dude. Fuck, a fish fucking spoiled Pokemon for me, dude. I'm so fucking mad, bro. Just raid into Disco Elysium. That is a game I would never raid into, dude. Ever. Dude, I don't like thinking about Disco anymore. Now that I'm all sad about those devs. Sad. Can you really spoil Disco? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, you can spoil Disco fucking hard. For sure, for sure. What? Extremely fast. Especially like the closer to the end.
especially closer to the end. Because Disco is designed in such a way that it's like 12 hours of your character being a bumbling bozo. And then like four of the guy actually doing the right thing and like figuring shit out because the plot has to finish one day for a game to be sold. So like after you enter like a certain window of time, you can just have the whole thing fucking ruined. Tomato, do you plan on doing any more co-op gameplay with your friends in the future? I prefer to describe it as collapping, one. And uh, two, no. I've actually, um, I sent them all a message yesterday letting them know that I was done playing games with them. We're done with that. Numbers were down. <laughs> Control groups say that they don't like them. So we're done. We're done with those, completely, forever. I didn't even give them two weeks notice before I fired their asses and sent them to the fucking streets. I fucking laughed as they stumbled out of the office doors. Investors don't care about friendship. They care about the bottom line. Okay. But streamer, networking. Listen here. Networking's never done fucking anything for me. Okay. Not one thing. I benefit more from just starting some fucking, some extreme high octane drama with an adjacent streamer than actually networking and getting to know them as a person at any kind of meaningful level. I'll tell you that much right fucking now. What do you think's more, what do you think takes more time? All right, getting to actually know someone and understand their brand enough to, in a meaningful way, interact with them in order to exchange numbers and an audience with one another, or B, call them a fucking asshole idiot moron and totally smear their name all up and down the fucking internet. I don't need to do research to do that. That net can be as widely thrown as possible. I can just hit like, fucking idiot, 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 and just like go down the line. You know? <laughs> Influencer arc. That is what I call fucking collabing, all right? Yogg's cast stripping is crying. Yeah. Yeah. I hope Yogg's cast stripping is doing okay. I haven't I haven't talked to him in uh, like two, f four months. Average Overwatch two player. mean to him today chat he won't be streaming for a week yeah that's the only reason you guys that's the only fucking reason you shouldn't be mean to him it is because he won't be streaming for a week you want the last thing that fucking old man thinks about <laughs> before he leaves for a fucking week to be how fucking mean you were you ever think about that <laughs> Uh, oh, I'm such a fucking stinker, dude. <laughs> he 
You ever get fan mail and then start sweating because some psycho knows your address? That question in and of itself, you know the answer because I haven't gotten any. So no, no, I haven't. So I haven't started sweating because I ne I've never gotten any because no one knows my fucking address. What a weird question. <laughs> what? Huh? Huh? Someone stole in my mailbox. They did the reverse, maybe. Like a reverse fan mail. Like they were a fan of the mailbox, so they took it away. It was a nice mailbox while it was alive, before it died. <sighs> Sad. I had a neighbor who had a fish for a mailbox. Like a... Like it was like a just a big fish, like... Like a creation? That looked like a fish? Like a plastic fish? Or did... The neighbor just constantly interchange old fish as the mailbox of the day. Okay, tomato, someone mails you a fish. What do you do with it? I throw it in the garbage. Like, what are you, fucking dumb? I'm not gonna... Look, if I didn't order a fish to get into my mailbox, you think I'm gonna fucking eat an... Oh, I don't check my mail all the time. That fish would be sitting out there in that fucking... Oh, like that mailbox unrefrigerated for hours. I'm not eating that. <laughs> I'm not eating mailbox fish. I'll eat a lot of disgusting slop. I will not eat mailbox fish. I'd probably just return to sender because... Look, there's only a couple options. Either A, it was mailed over US Postal Service. Which is wild, because that's a loose fish with a postage stamp on it. At which point I'm going to simply return it to my, like the sender. I'll just put the fucking thing up, the flag and call it a day. Or I'll, you know, start wondering if they're like one of my neighbors is depositing like fish into my mailbox because the postal service wouldn't have delivered that. If the fish was somehow packed with ice, it might be I might be okay with it. There is not a single fucking world we live in where I like am going to just be like, ah, oh, nice. No strings attached. That's a fucking that's a big ass bass inside of my mailbox. Num -num -num. I don't that's a little too much. That's a whole fish in there. If it, you see, chat, there's a difference because they put it in my mailbox. If it was like, if I went outside and there was like a fish on my like doorstep, maybe a different story. But I can't confirm how long it was in my mailbox. That's the actual problem. A lot of people are being really stupid and they're not thinking. I'm going to see something on my doorstep. I'm not going to see it in my mailbox. It could be there for fucking days at points. Okay, if someone went to my goddamn mailbox, they put it on a Saturday. I might not check it till Monday. That fish could be in there for days. That's why I won't touch it. That's going away. I'd probably smell it before I ever saw it. You don't leave your house for three days? I don't check my mailbox compulsively every day, no. I don't get that much mail. I already established that in reality, the best way to, for me to actually see the fish would be as if it was outside my house on my porch. I don't know if you listened to what I said before you said a message in the chat, so I'll reiterate again. 
I go outside plenty to see something on my porch or doorstep. You bozo. You nincompoop. I have you muted. Ban that person. They haven't added the uh, icon. Deceptive. We don't appreciate that kind of behavior around here. I hope one day you'll learn the mistake you fucking made. But it won't be here. Because you didn't hear me say it. Allegedly. All right, chat. All right. This game's long as it is. I want to get into the game. Yeah, because we're going to be here a while. All right. We're going to do a shorter intro today because of it. Because I want to get into... I want to get into... Into the... Into the dark work. Into the dark work of this... Of this facility. Lobotomy Corporation. If you don't know what this game is... Think of it like taking care of a zoo, except the zoo is SCPs. And they need constant supervision, or like a T-Rex and Zoo Tycoon, or some crap. They'll just kick the wall down and be like, I'm getting out of here, and just leave. While everyone in the building screams, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm done. I'm done. I don't want to live here anymore. All right. So I, it's a full clean save. We're playing with a couple of quality of life mods uh, that allow me to carry over some more stuff on like restarts rather than um, have to fully reset my characters because I fucking hate having to re-level characters over and over again to achieve the same thing I would have achieved anyways. Uh... Was this game out the last time you played it? What? <laughs> Was this game out the last time I played it? Why, yes. <laughs> yes, it was. It was. <laughs> you mean early access? Because also, yes. It's been out for... Literally four years. <laughs> been out of early access for four years they've made sequels to this game at this point yes we're gonna skip anything involving plot because I just do I, I look this is a good game it's $25 I would say those $25 are well spent uh, if you care about the plot, you can play it yourself. Oh, oh, three, oh, three. So at the beginning of every day in this game, you get, you get to pick out of one, uh, out of three anomalies which one you want to move into your building. Uh, first one's always the same. It feeds on the evil that seeps out during conversations between people. Skip! I just don't care! I don't know who you are! Answer! Skip! Skip! Keep your uh, yaya -ya shit to yourself. I might have to unplug and replug in my uh, HDMI feed. I think there's a tiny bit of a microscopic amount of latency. Hang on one second. I'm gonna do this now before I forget. Yeah, there we go. All right. So right now we have one idiot uh, that we need to we need to 
We need to get on the team here. The name is Evangeline. I'd like to I'd love to customize their appearance, but unfortunately they are uh, a default character. They they're the first idiot we get. <clears throat> so uh, in order to actually update them, I believe I'd have to uh, literally pay money to do it. I'd have to pay money. They're the tutorial idiot. So right now, uh, we have one mission for the day, which is complete, complete three work processes, which is basically walking in and feeding the SCP for the day. Uh, uh. You can go ahead and make sure this new employee understands what they're getting into. Don't want them to die or anything. So we're going to go ahead and uh, not update any of their skills or give them any real equipment of any kind. Yes, sir. They'll be fine. No one's ever died on day one of Lobotomy Corporation. They just haven't. Not one person's ever died in Control Team. Control Team is the safest department in the entire building. All right. Just make sure that everyone's wearing nothing because we have no clothes. <laughs> Yep, not this person's going in naked. Woo! All right, Evangeline. I always remember the the music in this game is. It's just a little much. I'll turn it down a tiny bit. I can't imagine how experienced and skilled the manager must be to have his position. No one tell him it's my first day. <clears throat> no one. No one tell. This idiot. It's actually my first day at the company. I actually, this is day one of my big adventure. So, this over here is our only anomaly right now. A creature only known as 00303. A spooky skeleton with a cross in it. So, if we inspect it right now, we know nothing about it. We don't know what it does. We don't know what its powers are. We have no understanding of it. The only records we have currently is a silent abnormality that understands the conflict between good and evil. Its empty eye sockets stare at all those who encounter it. A giant skull that is attached to a cross, it wears a crown of thorns. It floats about two meters above the ground. The only way to actually learn anything about it is to send someone in. Chat, which is fine right now because this is the tutorial creature. But later, it sucks because we won't know what we're sending someone into and one of the creatures might just be like, if you try to understand me, I will blow up your head and eat you. But we're gonna send someone in to understand with insight what this guy is. Evangeline, go! <laughs> I believe in you, get in there! So these are normal idiots. Uh, they are expendable creatures that simply do nothing but usually fuck us over. Uh, get used to them being dead bodies. Go, go, go! Depending on the situation, 00303 may have a positive effect on employees. They're actually good for you. So Evangeline is trying their hardest to understand what this thing is. And this right here is the overall success of the research. Evangeline's doing a very good job. If a red block appears, that means that something negative has happened, which will either physically impact our employee or mentally impact. Uh, sometimes leading to an escape or a failed check. As you can see, that something bad happened. Maybe they said something a little scary. Maybe the skeleton floated a little bit quickly into the air and j like j jolted around and Evangeline went like eh! and like dropped their, their pen or something. And it happened again. Evangeline, you doing okay in there? They'll, they'll be fine. No one's ever died on day one, but that was an only average, only an average job there, Evangeline, but they'll be fine. It'll be fine. Good news is, chat, what we get is five PE boxes. These are unique per abnormality. 
and we get to choose in this game, which is, this is like my, honestly, this is why I like this game so much. It's got a very unique way of like understanding what these SCPs actually do. We get to choose for ourselves what we want to learn based off of surviving one research with them. Uh, certain things cost more stuff. We can know what happens when it escapes. We can know which kind of work it prefers. Like we did insight before. Uh, we could choose to learn something else or find out if insight was the right call. Or we can learn like the tips for actually handling it from another manager uh, before us. Or we can learn its actual basic gameplay information. We're gonna take a tip. 0303 will restore the employee's mental state when the work result is good. Odely, who received this benediction, commented that it felt refreshing. All right, well, uh, the second that that time is done, we're going to send Evangeline back in. Where are you going? Why is everyone telling me to be careful around the abnormalities? They can't be that dangerous, can they? Stay in the hallway. I'm sending you back into the kill zone. All right, get back in there. You're doing more insight work because you lived. So, Chad, what you see here is uh, the uh, 17 health, 20 SP. SP is their brain. If it reaches zero, they'll have a panic attack and have, like, a mental break. Dark, uh, Darkest dungeon style. Uh, you want to avoid that, because then other people have to run over and kill them. All right. Looking good. And by looking good, I mean looking bad. <clears throat> Evangeline. Nothing's changed from last time. So, if you could get some... Evangeline, Evangeline, <coughs> Evangeline, <coughs> Evangeline, help, help, get it up there. As of this moment, you've accumulated half the energy you need. Yes, so every day, chat, you have a quota of how much energy you have to build. It's the same thing as the PE boxes. So we've built nine total. Uh, when that is over, the day will end. Evangeline lived, but uh, I I shudder to I shudder to think about about how much longer they're gonna live. If they keep on dropping the ball on collecting these pee boxes. All right, we're gonna make sure we're gonna go ahead and check some of the other In insight was kind of rough. Uh, I think we can all agree insight was kind of rough, so we're gonna go ahead and check if instinct is a better instinct is common on level one and two. We'll check attachment. We want to use attachment. High is good. Unless something in the in the tips says it isn't, high is good. So we want to use attachment with this guy. We wanna we wanna be his buddy. Attachment it is. Evangeline, head back over to the box over here. You heal in these zones. Now I can proudly tell people that I've joined a wing. You're not gonna be alive much longer. I wouldn't tell anyone about your job here. Go ahead and heal up. You're gonna need it. Go ahead and get some of your brain power back. You're gonna need it. What? They're not gonna make it very long here. Go on over to the research. Begin attachment training. Chat, as a character does research, they also gain skills and like a higher level of this stat. So attachment is temperance, which equals work success and work speed. Uh, so if they do a bunch of attachment work here, they could level up their temperance. Stuff like that. Which can have good or bad effects. Like, for instance, someone with only two instinct is going to have a better result than someone that's leveled it up to three. Stuff like that. So there's a reason to have pathetic idiots in the facility that are bad at things. Sometimes you need them. Evangeline is barely caping on, but it's better than last time. Looking good. In exactly one research, we're gonna have some kind of breach, is what this says. When this research ends, we're gonna die. Uh, hang on, we're okay. Everything's fine. After the maximum number of PE boxes was produced with 0303, it restored the mental health of every employee in the department. This is very good to remember because this guy's actually pretty much always a good buff for the team. Uh, because he will just be like, ah, oh, thanks, everyone. He's basically like Jesus. This is like the soul of Jesus. And if we, uh, if we give him a hug, he'll make everyone healthy. 
Jesus is getting angry and he is going to break out of the facility and kill everyone in the building. As we've just seen. So what happened there, chat, was when this when this counter rolls over to the next level, something in the facility is going to have a meltdown. In this case, there's only one thing in the facility to have a meltdown. So if you don't do research within 60 seconds, it will break out of the facility. And we don't know what happens if it does. Jesus is going to grab his basketball and he's going to break some fucking ankles out there. But it looks like we're going to be okay. Because uh, this is going to be a successful result either way. <laughs> research issue. Everything's fine. All right. They've succeeded in collecting all of the energy so we can end the day if we want. But uh, Evangeline's not done that easy. Chet, we're going to... We're going to finish up completing this guy to its full extent so we can make all the gear for it. So we're immediately sending them back in for another cycle. We, there's nothing that stops you from continuing to work once the day is over. So we're going to send them in another time. Mandatory overtime! Get the fuck in there! Because we want to research everything in here. Uh, this anomaly cannot escape, which is nice. So we don't have to worry about him breaking out. But this is why we wanted to do more research. Uh, every SCP in the game has a weapon and armor that you can make from their boxes once you've researched everything else. So they have like actual drops and there's also a probability of getting like a special unique drop. Uh, we want to make some gear because it gives us some protection. You don't want your people to freaking die, dude. I'm gonna give Evangeline one more second to get their brain back, okay. Oops, I actually, yeah, we'll just move on. We'll move on. I instinctively pressed it because usually I don't waste time here when I used to play. It's not gonna matter because we can just, we're only gonna have one more thing next time. We can just have someone constantly leveling on this guy. But yeah, that's an S rank day. Uh, SCP Monster Hunter. It kind of is, though. Anyways, uh, our work success went up quite a bit and our prudence went up a bit as well from uh, Evangeline just doing stuff. So, uh, this game also incentivizes you to restart if you beef it. Death isn't necessarily permanent in this game. You can be like, that sucked. I feel like I understand what I did wrong. And you can, like, redo the day. And you do want to. Uh, you do want to at points. You're not meant to, this is not meant to be like a hardcore permadeath roguelike. This is meant to be a little bit more of like a careful technical management sim. This is a recording of the day we must never forget. Nope. People have been committing sins since long ago. Why do they commit sins knowing it's wrong? Ah, uh, pass. Um. She was so talkative before, yet in the end, loneliness was the only listener. I'm not taking the sin, bird. I won't fucking do it. We're gonna take 00112. Skip! I just don't care! I just don't care! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Alright, we got another goal. Complete four work processes with a good result. Easy. So as you finish these goals, the zone and team will level up, which gets you permanent upgrades for that wing of the facility. Cool, 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 cool. So we get a new upgrade. Uh, okay. We're going to take game speed acceleration so I can speed up the fucking game because I don't want to have to watch Jesus do his research. So we unlocked lob points now, which means we can actually upgrade our characters if we so choose. Uh, we're gonna hire another person though. We're gonna name this person, uh... God, I hate that you have to actually spend a fucking point to level up someone's look. It's so evil. Because it really, it really is the same thing that we use to, like, actually have characters with skills. But I want to name them, uh, I want to name them Bungus. Because they're really important. I'm going to name them Bungus. They're going to have poop for a head. Uh, and they're going to have a beautiful 
Uh, they're gonna be quietly going Super Saiyan behind it. Yeah. Yep. No, I actually want the back here gone, I think. Get, get it out of here. Get it out of here. Bungus is maybe the greatest hero we'll ever know. Uh, which is why I'm going to give them this face. This is Bungus. We're also going to spend a couple more lob points. Giving them just a little bit of fortitude. Because if something goes wrong in the facility, someone needs to be the one who punches some, some noses. Okay, so we're going to hire Bungus, get him in there. They're starting with a little bit of a higher HP than the others. And now, we're going to hire one more person. And we're going to name them... freaking idiot someone's got to be the fall guy all right someone's got to go in there <laughs> someone's got to go in there and do the shit no one else wants to do so that we can research what happened someone's got to be the person that goes in on a new scp room and see what happens there's got to be a meat shield this time it's freaking idiot okay They're gonna have a, a beautiful head of Super Saiyan-esque hair. And they're... They're gonna be just really happy to be here. Just really happy. Welcome, freaking idiot, to the team. So we got Evangeline, Bungus, and freaking idiot. <laughs> now I'm gonna go ahead and get some clothes on these. I oh, I actually didn't buy them yet. All right, they're going in naked. What's one more day? Woo! Grandma? What the fuck's Granny doing here? Granny? Granny? An abnormality taking the form of an old and feeble woman. Anytime someone enters its containment unit, it will talk to that person. Alright, it's just Grandma. Mima! Epiphany, thank you for the 20 gifted subscriptions of the channel. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, that's very kind. Anyways, everyone shut the fuck up! All right, Mima's gonna tell a story to freaking idiot. I want, I want freaking idiot to go in there with attachment and try to just hang out with grandma. I don't actually, chat, here's the thing. It's been like two years since I've played this game. I don't remember most of the anomalies. I don't know what Mima does. I'm kind of operating off of blind luck. So we're gonna send freaking idiot over there and I'm going to send Bungus to start training an attachment over at Jesus. All right, freaking idiot. Let's see how you do. The first block is so important and freaking idiot nailed it. Very good. Very good. Uh, he's losing. He's, he's losing. He's winning. Freaking idiot's doing okay. Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. For no nope. look an even results a good result okay but i am gonna send evangeline over here to camp the door in case freaking idiot comes out a psychopathic evil man okay i'm just gonna have evangeline camping in this hallway because if freaking idiot comes out like mad about grandma being locked in here we're gonna have to beat the shit out of him with a baton until he's dead but this is going well and soon enough we will have enough PE boxes to find out. Wow, Mima's got a lot of stuff about him. Uh, Mima's actually got a lot of details, chat. I'm worried freaking idiot's gonna come out of here dead or dying. Freaking idiot has finished their designated work. They scamper out of 010112's containment unit quickly, but they're not done. Get out of there! Freaking idiot is okay. The guy I met yesterday was replaced by someone else before I even got to know him. Okay, Bungus, do another set of uh, uh, work on Jesus while we check what's up with, with Grandma. We're going to figure out immediately what's going on with the guidelines. When an abnormality other than 00112 was worked with, the Kwaislav counter lowered. Stop all work on Jesus! Okay.
So for context, Jet, the Quiff Laugh counter is this question mark clock thing above them. When that reaches zero, the creature inside the box will do something naturally evil. They'll do something a little naughty. They're kind of, that's kind of when they become little stinkers. I don't know if grandma's packing a gun. I don't know what their thing is, but I do not fucking trust that old lady. I don't trust that old bag. All right. I don't trust that old bag. And we should be aware that stuff could get a little, stuff could get a little nasty. She's got a troll face. Let's ask the next managerial tip. When the quiet laugh counter reached zero, black shapes formed inside the containment unit. We've decided to dub these shapes solitude based on the condition in which they form. Does grandma get lonely? When solitude piled up, it stuck to Lee Sihan when they entered the containment unit. Well, it sounds like there's nothing wrong with sending frickin' Idiot in again to do more attachment work. It doesn't seem like that's gonna hurt him. So frickin' Idiot, get the heck in there. I hope she doesn't tell that awful story again. Damn, man, what the fuck is your goddamn problem? What the fuck? Listen here, frickin' Idiot. <laughs> You think you're just allowed to say things like that to Mima? All right. We don't, we're only going to buy some more things. We're trying to get observation level three so we can get the weapon unlocked. We actually don't care about the basic information on him that much other than, oh, because it'll increase our work speed, uh, which means we'll be able to unlock all of our weapons a lot faster. We're going to make some armor and gear now. We need people constantly working on uh, this creature uh, known as One Sin and hundreds of good deeds. This is Jesus. They've got a lot of lore in this game. Granny wants to gatekeep Jesus. <laughs> pretty much. Uh, pretty much. But Jesus, Jesus is one of the... I'll read a lot of the other lore. Jesus is a little boring. But uh, we'll read Graham, Mima's lore as soon as it's done. But, uh... Yeah, we're gonna hang out at Mima and make sure freaking idiot definitely wants to leave. We're gonna hang out at Mima and keep uh, researching them until we know that they're not gonna like blow up and kill us. Do how how are we doing on this? We can do the last guideline. Mason had to deal with continuous white damage until the solitude eventually fell off. Until it was gone, they could not move or do any work. Okay. Chat, white damage only affects mental state. It's the blue bar. It's the same thing that freaking idiot takes every time he talks to Mima. So, basically, when that happens, the character has a mental break and will attack other people and be an evil psycho. Until someone beats the shit out of them. Either by killing them or doing more mental damage to them with something that does white damage until they, like, pass out. Anyways, freaking idiot, you're on grandma duty, and, uh, Fungus, you're on, uh, Jesus duty. Get on in there. I'm guessing attachment? Yeah, I, I, I just wanted to check. Attachment is naturally the best choice for taking care of grandma. She just wants to talk to someone. Grandma is, at, yeah, they actually cause psychic damage. We're gonna speed up time, though, because, uh, there's no reason not to. We have... This is a piece of cake, all right? But we do want to farm grandma's items. <laughs> Grandma doesn't know we're not talking to her uh, because we want to hang out with her. Okay. We're talking to her because we want her legendary weapon that we'll create from her, from her very soul. Very good, freaking idiot. Very good. Have you gotten any? No. We also want, we just want so much stuff, you know? Uh, let's get... <laughs> Old lady! That's, uh, yep, there's a picture. That's me, Ma. <laughs> oh, 
All right. Means that we can technically make the armor now, which is better for, so most of the items in the game have like good and bad sides. And this one get, makes you weaker to physical damage, but better at resisting uh, mental damage and black damage, which is a mix of physical and mental damage. And you better pray to God you never see anything in this game that does pale damage, okay? Cause that's probably some really bad shit. That's probably like actually Jesus came back and like formed his full body and was like, I'm gonna beat you up and started punching you. That's pale damage. Pale damage is when Jesus actually shows up and it's like, what's up? And just starts hitting you. <laughs> you GG at pale damage. Uh, okay. We just need to research like one more thing. Oh, we are sending freaking idiot. Get back over there. <laughs> Where the hell you think you're going? Actually, we'll send uh, Evangeline in. She can handle taking care of the old lady while someone else continues working with uh, Jesus because we need his items. We need his items very badly. So Teth is basically the second tier of SCPs. There's four of them in this game. Maybe five. Actually, I think there's five. There's five levels. Uh, anything after Teth is, uh, emergency, beep, 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 we might all be dead. Uh, in my, in my experience. Uh, Teth is like the, oh, yeah, I have things I have to care about, but it's not that bad. Grandma, uh, Grandma was packing. Okay. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the last little bit of research on them so that I can get my cool work speed boost on them while someone else continues to work on Jesus because we need these weapons and armor specifically the armor Jesus is trying to break out of the facility so it's gonna be okay yep yep Yep, we're just gonna let some of this here research clear out. Yep, get our last work speed thing done. We have to get all of them, I believe, to get the full observation. Wow, yeah, attachment for both of these guys. I mean, that's good stuff to farm early. So I'm not gonna complain. Uh, Evangeline, head into the room. Yo, freaking idiot got the rare glasses, dude! Freaking idiot is not a freaking idiot anymore. They have a permanent work success rate and work speed bonus from hanging out with grandma. Okay. It can't be locked, so if something else takes up the head slot, it might overwrite it. But, I mean, getting this on everyone is a solid bet. That's basically, essentially, I farm. I, I view it as like farming up until the point when um, someone gets the gift from a character. That's like uh, usually the cutoff point for me is when they've gotten the thing that gives them a permanent like buff forever. All right, we still need more. We need to get Grandma's gun. We need a we need someone with a gun. So Bungus needs to get in there. We desperately need that gun. That gun does white damage, uh, which means we can use it to knock out people that have mental breaks without killing them. The old lady is deaf and nearly blind, but she still recognizes the presence of Bungus from the smell and the smell alone. From the smell and the smell alone. Did Bungus just one-shot that? Oh my god. Bungus freaking one-shotted the glasses. Not even, no fucking shot, dude. No shot. All right. Well, Evangeline, you're the only one that still needs it, so uh, head on over. And uh, Bungus and freaking idiot, get on over and you hang out with Jesus. We still need more power. We still need more clothes. <clears throat> Bungus is cheating. Shut up. Shut the hell up. Nerdwing, nerdwing. An abnormality taking the form of an old and feeble woman. Anytime someone enters its containment unit, it will talk to that person. What it tells differs from time to time. However, it always, it will always commence with, Dearie, dearie, would you like to hear a story? 
This story could be a lullaby, an unspecified poem, a nursery rhyme, a common children's story, or something entirely new. It knows every children's story and will not stop recounting until the listener finally leaves. She may be the loneliest of all the abnormalities. She's filled with loneliness and tells her tales to fill that void. Well, every story needs a listener. When someone enters her room, she'll try to fill that void. Of course, listening to her is a very dangerous thing. She knows every story on Earth and even those that cannot possibly exist. Our minds can't cope with such a thing. She could fry your brain in an instant. Grandma has a four on the timer. I know, that means they're as healthy as they can be. Fool! Their maximum counter is four. That's the highest they can go. That means they're super far away from getting broken out. <clears throat> the only way it goes down is if we do something with Jesus. Evangeline, get in there. Oh wait, no, Evangeline goes in here. Evangeline, get in there. We're gonna do like one more or two more of these and then we'll uh, actually send people to the next day. It's just, Grandma's getting antsy, they wanna break out. Grandma wants to get out of the building. Why insight? Well, if I set something for insight, uh, sometimes it's just because I want to level their stat, even if it's not necessarily the best fucking thing, if that's what you're asking, if I've done that. Uh, sometimes you just do it because you're trying to get people to level it. Uh, it's not like either of these people are really ones that can kill a agent. So. All right, we're gonna let Jesus's thing fill and then we're gonna end the day before grandma escapes. Sending someone in to do a stat levels it. Uh, which is why sometimes it's even worth going in and sending someone to actually punch grandma out uh, to level up instinct. Because otherwise they're gonna stay squishy and I have to level it up with points. But we'll send Evangeline in for one more trip with Gre grandma and then we're done. If we're done for the day. Because I'd like the gun gun that'll get us two guns and we should have enough of this to clothe everyone good while they're doing grandma we'll send in one more cycle for jesus as well you freaking idiot and once these two are done we'll end for the day it's like it's free xp and right now is when we need it the most chat because our characters don't have any stats All right, freaking idiot. You're doing good out there. You're doing good. Let's, let's do it. All right. We'll have enough to get another weapon. Fuck, they don't. What's one more? Nurse! Nurse, what's one more? Quick trip to Jesus, nurse. Besides, I don't even have enough to make the clothes. Actually, the clothes, grandma's clothes are kind of bad. Well, just get the glasses, Evangeline, you know what I mean? Just get the glasses, just get the glasses. If someone's having a mental break, you can end the day and they won't actually uh, die. You'll just get to keep them. They'll fix uh, during the day ending. All right, there we go. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Once this, as soon as this ends, we end the day. Oh, 72 hour shift. <laughs> well, they know what they signed up for. All right. Come on, Evangeline. Evangeline hasn't gotten one rare drop, and meanwhile, these guys are fucking just soaking it up. Whatever. End the day. S. So Bungus and Evangeline have leveled up to two. Evangeline got two levels of temperance. Bungus got one. Freaking idiot also got one, but didn't level. Everyone's work speed has just doubled and work success has doubled, uh, which is big. That's good. We're going to need that. So they're now twice as effective as they were yesterday. 
Somewhere in the distance you can hear seagulls. When the roses bloomed in the garden, they prayed for them to be red. It's them. It is them. It's them. Complete eight work processes and containment units under Kulaifoth. Okay. I can do that. I felt like I had to pick the shrimp, even though I've seen it before. Okay. Uh, Joint Command permits you to give cross-divisional work orders between departments. That's big and important for later. Uh, yeah, we want to be able to do that. That's going to be relevant later. All right, you guys. We should hire another person. Uh, your name is going to be, uh, your name's going to be, um, oh, uh, fuck, uh, your name's going to be, uh, 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 fuck, Shrimgus, he's going to be on shrimp duty. All right, Shringus. Get on in there. You're hard. <laughs> You're hard. All right, and freaking idiot, I'd like to actually use a lob point on freaking idiot to level up their Ford. Because that'll also get him to level two. Now then, I need you all clothed. We're gonna give, uh, hang on here, max SP. Bungus is going to be our, uh, our, our, our peace, uh, the person who upholds the peace. So if someone gets, uh, if someone has a mental break, uh, Bungus is gonna run over and shoot them with this gun. But these aren't real bullets, these are silly bullets. They only do white damage, so don't worry. They can't kill someone. Uh, Evangeline is gonna get this, uh, other white weapon. White damage is the main one that's going to matter right now anyways. So uh, we're going to give people white weapons. And then these two will keep their riot sticks. And now everyone, put on your fun Jesus outfit. Everyone, get this Jesus outfit on. It's a natural straight upgrade. All right, let's get in there. Big day today. Newbie, get in there and try to understand what's happening in there, Shrimgus. Get in there and try to understand, Shrimgus, what's going on. Get on in there, Shrimgus. They're here. They're real. The shrimp people are real. They're real. Damn, Shrimp, guess you walk slow. Speeding up time. Shrimp guess immediately got scared. But everything's okay. Everything's looking to be a staggeringly average research process. But will Shrimp guess survive? Shrimp guess, don't drink that! Oh, they're okay. Everything's okay. They drank it, but they're okay. It'll happen to them. Upon completion of the work process, a canned beverage is discharged from the vending machine. The type of beverage that is emitted seems to vary in correlation with the work type. A red drink is emitted. Uh, the employee who ingested the beverage said it had a distinct aroma and sweetness and expressed a feeling of heightened energy after. Following the test... Following the test that, hang on, I'm trying to, I have to drag it. The physical health of the subject was confirmed. Shrimgus took physical damage from being in there, but Shrimgus is the trainer for this. So they're gonna keep researching this and we spend all day today allowing Shrimgus to do this work. 
we don't we don't tamper with any other people. Grandma is gonna stay lonely. The only person we're gonna help out is Grandma when they're reaching extreme levels of loneliness. Uh, but until then, insight was okay. We're gonna do insight again. Insight, Shrimkus survived insight, and that's pretty much all we can ever ask for. All we can really ever ask is that we survive. Is what I would say if I wasn't gonna try to repress the soda. Tell the soda to shut the fuck up now! Oh my god. Repression's going much better than insight was. Psych, never mind. Never mind. Stringer! Oh. Everything's okay. A blue drink is emitted. It contains an odorless liquid that is highly carbonated. It's found to be effective in restoring mental health. A purple drink is emitted. The appearance and composition and taste are exactly the same as other grapefruit, grape flavored uh, carbonated beverages. It has been found that the physical fortitude and mental strength of the ingester are both recovered. Caution. When the, when the work result with F0552 is bad, do not take any drink provided by the vending machine. What? Why though? That's an answer only Shrimgus can answer. Okay, repression was average. Insight was average. I want you to go back and do repression again, though, because the alternative is possibly you dying doing a different one. So you're going back inside. Repression, get in there now. Next step is to find out what's the best results. Oh, no! Shrimgus, whatever you do, don't drink anything. Come out of that vending machine. All right, we're going to be okay. We're okay. We're okay. It's good as long as we never fuck up. Grandma needs to... Grandma, someone's got to hang out with Grandma now. It's Grandma time. All right, Evangeline, get in there. Someone's got to take care of Grandma. Grandma's about to break out of prison. All right. So, attachment, common, insight, high. All right, we want to actually do insight for this. Okay, Shrimpgus, get back down there. Shrimpgus, I don't know how to tell you this. You are on shrimp duty all day today. You're on shrimp duty. Stay by the shrimp. Now, uh, freaking idiot. If you guys could please continue to train your... Hang on. Just get down there. Freaking idiot. I want you on Jesus duty. You start leveling our insight. Grandma's having a good time. Hopefully this will keep Grandma from having a mental break. All right. Back up to two. I got to send Evangeline back in though. Which is okay. Back in there. Soda's going well, dude. Soda's having a good time. Shrimkus, camp right there, dude. You're not going fucking anywhere. Get back in there now. All right, instinct is also easy. Okay. So it looks like the trick is with these guys. Uh, insight. Insight restores mental. Uh, but when you're doing it, you take physical damage. Uh... Yeah, okay, it's not that. It's not that crazy. We do need to finish the rest of the research on it though. It's a net buff. This is a good thing. This is a, this is this is a help. The soda's good. The soda's good unless you fail. Unless you really drop the ball. Sometimes Shrimgus kind of does drop the ball just a little. And I don't really like that. All right. We're going to send uh I just want Shrimgus to keep Shrimgus can probably handle one more cycle. Uh, shrink miss go go heal just go heal just go heal actually i want shrimp guess to go over and do uh jesus duty someone hang out with gra grandma's gonna be so high maintenance dude i'm worried about this 
I'm worried. Grandma, I can already tell Grandma's gonna be a whole situation, you know what I mean? Grandma's gonna be such a fucking situation. She's never gonna stop being a little shit about this. Even now, she's going, I want to talk to someone. Back in there, come on. And um, someone, this is a good chance to level instinct uh, on people as well, on the shrimp. Shrimp can't escape, they give gun. That's cool. Update, shrimp can't escape. And Jesus? Uh, Jesus, we're gonna level some repression on Jesus, even though it doesn't actually do anything. I want freaking idiot doing something. Attachment. Evangeline still hasn't gotten the glasses, which is pissing me the fuck off at this point. Because I've sent them in there a thousand times. Soda. An opened can of whale cheers. I do have to confirm now, chat, that this can was opened in this in the story. Hey, have you guys ever heard of one of those lobotomy meetups? Mind you, it took a lot of courage for me to bring this up again. You see, there's a bunch of clubs in the company. I'm not going to read all of this because it's a literal, uh, it's a literal fucking book. But I will establish this. Uh, if you fuck up and the result is bad with these shrimp, they will abduct you and take you to the ocean. They will abduct, they will actually fucking straight up take you away. They'll turn you into soda. Skipping lore. Why can't all the lore be as nice and com like compact as old ladies? That's all I'm saying. You know what I mean? Shrimgus, get the fuck down there. I also think we can just have Shrimgus camp at the door we're gonna end in a second for this day we're not gonna finally god damn it all right we're back to neglecting grandma we don't need to care anymore but i do need to level shrimgus should start hanging out with grandma grandma he needs some he needs some work speed upgrades that i can tell you Doing well, Shrimkiss. Doing real well. See, Shrimkiss can just do this forever because they heal when they do it. It's really nice. It's like perfect. All right, uh, Evangeline, go punch Jesus out. We need to start leveling our fortitude. All of our characters are really squishy. I also need to get this mission done still, uh, which means I need to actually force meltdowns and then uh, then, uh, do it, so. I don't want to do that one. Grandma's full of freaking evil Jews. We have guns. All right, who doesn't have the gun? All right. Freaking idiot has the most HP, but not high prudence. All right, freaking idiot. I'm going to send you in to talk to grandma while she's sad. Get on in there. Everyone else? Get on up here. Who has a melee weapon? Shrimkus is... Not ideal because they have a baton. Send Shrimgus back in there. Bungus and Evangeline should be able to dispatch him if he actually has a mental break. Looks like he's got the horrible goo. But it doesn't look like it's actually hurting them all. Wow, they are... All that happened to them is their glasses kind of came off a little bit. They're okay. They lived. Chat, they lived. They had, a, they had a bad time, but they're okay. I'm gonna send someone into... Basically, the problem is with the current setup we have, there's only like two things that can actually have a meltdown. We have to force these cycles. We don't actually need to do this job today. It's just, it's easier if you focus on it and get it done rather than like get distracted a thousand times. Oh, perfect, old lady had one too. Uh, Shrimgus, get in there, hang out with old lady. Is Shrimgus gonna make it in time before old lady has a mental break? No. I'm not sure.
not sure if Shrimgus, Shrimgus will, um, Shrimgus will make it, chat. Fungus, head back to your fucking room. All right, uh, five out of eight. We can probably end after this. We'll end after this one and move on. Uh, make the guns. The This armor's not good, so we're not even gonna bother. All right, the gun. Nima. We'll get some armor in another second. All right. Moving on. Shrimgus, not drinking soda. Look at dude. Shrimgus has got to get it some levels up. Okay. Oh my god, Shrimgus one-shotted the fucking glasses, dude. Holy shit. Grandma has provided us with a significant boost to work speed across the entire company. We've never been more lucky. We've never... We've never been more lucky than we have today. All right. Yes. Shrimgus somehow didn't level up. Shrimgus somehow didn't level up one stat. Someone's getting fired. Someone's getting fucking fired. How do you not level up? I sent you into a, you were working all day today for the last 82 hours. And you didn't level up one stat? You drank too much soda. Alright, well, um... Save us now and forevermore, the truth shall set us free. This bracelet shall not forgive those who hold greed in their hearts. Thus, it must only be worn by those in true need. Do you remember this melody? The professor used to play this song when the students were sleepy. Happy birthday! We are now adopting mods. Uh, if you'd be so kind as to start running polls. Uh, we're gonna start doing these with polls. Uh, one, two, or three. Or not polls. Yeah, like, let's pull it. Let's pull it. I wanna see, I want, I want people to vote for it. What we get here. I want people to vote. One. Is the happy birthday thing. Two, is this spooky bracelet. Or three, is something talking about the truth setting us free. Which might just be like, yeah, it might just be the marker from Dead Space. Uh... Three has a big lead. Alright, that's looking pretty set in stone. I don't think something's gonna be turning that one around. Alright. Three. Skip. 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 Shut up. Moving on. Alright. Got lots of lot points. We're gonna spend those points to do some responsible things for the company. First of all, Shrimgus is gonna get a level up in prudence and fortitude. Confirm. Now we're gonna hire a new bozo. Their name is Bozo. Hang on. Bozo. Their name is Bozo. They're gonna have hair that looks like this. And their face is gonna look like this. Okay. Ready for business, Bozo. Let's get some clothes on him. Bozo, put on this suit. All right, we've got a full team here. Bozo is a gloomy newbie. Bozo, take this, uh, take this gun. Actually, no, you take this, this thing. Freaking idiot. You take this gun. Okay. It's time. We're gonna save lob points. We shouldn't need any for whatever comes out of this. This should be an easy, fast day. What is that? The fuck is that? What is that? <clears throat> Bozo! <laughs> 
Someone has to interact with the book. So this is a different kind of anomaly chat. Essentially, uh, we learn what it does based on how many times we use it. It's an item. It's not an actual, like, it's not a thing that can, like, mm, get you like the shrimp or grandma. We're going to send Bozo in. Okay, Bozo, just be be, 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 be careful, dude. That might be the freaking death note or something. Well, they got finished with that really fit. What the fuck is- Bozo, what the fuck just happened? Their prudence is up really high and so is their justice. The employee who reads this book will experience an increase in prudence. That's cool. I bet if they use it again, they die. <laughs> we will use this once a day and not with the same person. Bozo, get the fuck out of there. No way I'm having them read it again. We're going to have to... No, we're going to keep Bozo in this room isolated from the others just in case they have like a fucking breakdown. Maybe we could befriend the abnormalities. By God, they're acting like a fucking weirdo. All right, we're gonna we're gonna farm. We're gonna farm Shrimgus's attachment using Grandma, while Evangeline punches Jesus, and while Bungus also trains his instinct with the soda. You acting you acting weird, Bozo. Don't like it, man. Speed this up. It should be a fast, easy day. I'm not gonna linger. We're gonna get what we need to get done. And then we're gonna move on with our lives. He knows. He doesn't know anything. Uh. We have a breakout. It's the old lady. <laughs> no one's surprised. Uh, okay, Bungus goes back in for instinct. Grandma's gonna try to do something, I think. We're gonna end as soon as this cycle's over this time. Uh, so don't worry, this is gonna be a fast- this is gonna be a fast day. Shrimgus, hang out with Grandma again. I wouldn't mind finishing our- God, we have to do that per day? Ugh. That's gonna be a while before we get that control team upgrade. We need a larger thing to do that quickly. I kind of want to have someone else use the- use the thing but I know it's got I know it's bad for me I know that's bad for me I'm not gonna do it yo Bungus got the shrimp Bungus is looking like a real fucking weirdo right now <laughs> nice job Bungus nice job he leveled up his uh instinct okay uh Bungus swaps up and Evangeline goes down Meanwhile, freaking freaking idiot is gonna do instinct training or insight training on Jesus. And that will end the day once we're done with all these. All right, we got old lady completely finished. Uh, Jesus is also finished completely and I think we can get almost everything for the for these guys too. Yeah. Cool. Alright, day's over. Perfect. Easy day, dude. Easy day. It definitely doesn't get worse. <laughs> Chad, it definitely, I swear, dude. It doesn't get worse, dude. This game stays easy. We're not gonna have any problems. Besides, this is a clone day. We just do the same thing again. We're gonna we're gonna spit out the same exact day again and save lob points. Everyone stays the same. Again. Same thing as before. Insight on Bungus. Old lady. Attachment on whoever still only has level one attachment. You. Instinct on Evangeline. Everyone go now. Meanwhile, a Bozo. Wait, Bozo's doing uh, old lady training. <laughs> Shrimgus, get down there and read the book. Now. I need someone to read the book. Shrimgus, it must be you. 
No one knows what the book does. But we will know something about it once we finish reading it again. That was easy. Skin prophecy. All right, no one is reading this book ever again. Tool abnormality classification, single use. Well, that's all I need to know. It's just a flat buff as long as we never use it again. The way I see it then is we're not going to use it ever unless it's melting down. If it melts down, we can send someone in single use style. Other than that, no fucking way in a million years. Evangeline. Oh, they're, oh, I was confused because I saw them say uncontrollable. It's because they're in the, they're drinking the soda right now. They're okay. They're not having a breakdown. It can melt down. I don't know, man. It's made out of skin. It's probably alive. I've managed to get back in there. Either way, this is a good, this is a good spread of first anomalies. We've got like a, we've got a lot of stuff that can, what I say? <laughs> Red alert, dude! <laughs> we're gonna send in, uh, we're gonna send in Bozo! We'll send in Bozo! Send in the bald man! Send in our greatest bald guy. ETA 9, get in there. You're the greatest of us all. Actually rip Bozo? What do you mean, Rip Bozo? <laughs> Rip, Rip Bozo's not gonna fucking die. Bozo's not gonna die, okay? But I can also tell you this, I don't have to send them in. Uh, we'll just lose some electricity. Maybe that would be, you know what, we're gonna let, we're gonna let the meltdown happen. We're gonna let it happen. We're not gonna send in Bozo. I think that's actually, it's actually dangerous. We're gonna, we're gonna let, we're gonna save Bozo's life on this one. We're going to let the meltdown happen. Bozo, get in there and hang out with grandma. We'll be okay. We'll be, we'll be okay, dude. No balls. What's the skin prophecy gonna do anyways? See, we just lost like 10 power. It's not a big deal considering how much we make. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. It's melting down again. Is this going to be a repeating issue? It's fine. The game can't stop me from gaining what I need. Evangeline. Evangeline needs like fortitude and prudence bad. Anyways, if we do one more cycle of work, we should win regardless. Where's Bozo going? Oh, they're going back down to the place I told them to go. Well, they don't heal there. I need them to heal. I need to heal because I was going to send them in for work. For a work result thing. Heal up. How do you win this game? Eons from now. This game's fucking long as hell, chat. Chat, for context, this is one division. There's like nine. So think about the scale of this right now and then managing nine more of those, increasingly deeper all at the same time as this one. Okay, we're in baby mode. We're in, we're, we're hanging out with the babies right now. Is it possible to finish? We'll never beat it. Is there automation? Yeah, it's called subconsciously knowing what to do. It's called simply knowing what to do all the time. Okay. Is there automation? Omega lull. Prudence leveled up, fortitude leveled up, temperance leveled up. Nice. Okay. Big day today. New facility. All right, mods, don't set the poll yet, but ready it. I'm gonna read through everything first. Everything will be peaceful while you are under the fairy's care. Mm -hmm. Fairies. The more blood it has, the more beautiful it is. 
Blood creature. It's a good day. Are you still shy today? Fairies, blood creature, shy guy. One, two, three. Go ahead, Mons. If you got the pole ready. Chat, why are you guys using the fucking chat? Are you are you dumb? Are you dumb? <laughs> are you stupid? <laughs> two, two, one, one, bro, bro, at tomato, three, dude, please, dude, pick three. It's neck and neck between two and three. It could come down to the last couple seconds on this one. Pulls work on mobile. I know there is no more excuses for like, I'm on mobile, dude. That's why I can't see it. The real answer is just, I'm, I'm dumber than dirt, dude. It's two. I'm, I'm dumb. I'm so, I don't know where I am. I can't see my eyes don't work. Blood. Skip. We got a new team, information team. We got a new squad with new lore and new buffs and new jobs and new employees I have to actually fucking hire. We send Bungus to information team and we send freaking idiot with him and Bozo. We don't need more than two people on control team duty. We also have a lot of law points. So we are gonna hire new people. Frankly, actually, I think we just send these three down and we let Shrimgus, we'll let Shrim, Shrimgus knows control team stuff like the back of their hand and Bozo has basic understanding. All right, so hang on. I'm gonna do some hires to just see if I can get a good name so I don't have to spend fucking millions of dollars. Tim! <laughs> Welcome to the team, Tim. No need to spend any lob points on that one. We got Tim hired on the team and hire another Morty. Morty. <laughs> Why? Anyone else? All right. No, I don't like that one. No. 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 Two, uh, yeah, yeah. Nope. I hate it. Absolutely hate it. Nope. No. 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 Nope. Corbinian? I don't think so. No. 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 One more. After this one. No. No. All right, welcome to the Team Georgia. It's what I would say if I wasn't going to hire Paulinius. <laughs> Welcome to the team, Paulinius. Welcome to the team, Paulinus. Your name is awful. Welcome. Welcome. All a bunch of default boys. Look, nothing ever ha Look, nothing ever happens in control team. I don't think anyone's worried about fucking control team. Okay. Nothing ever happens in fucking control team. No one's worried about spending lob points on them. We're saving our lob points now to like hyper bulk up people later when we need it. Right now, we're still okay. One thing I might do is bulk up one guy. I might bulk up Bungus uh with justice. Because it's harder to level that. 
and boosting his attack speed would be good. It'd be good to have one person with upgraded uh, justice to fight things. And so he can like close in and shoot someone if they have a mental break faster. We're saving the rest of our lob points. Okay, so uh, <laughs> what's up? O O four one hundred. A tree stands in the middle of the containment unit. It never withers, even if it is not given any form of nutrition. Some employees take time to rest near this tree. Employees sometimes enter its containment unit for leisure. Alpha eleven, stop right there! I can see hands coming up. All right, we're gonna send in. Uh... Get on and get on that Tim, we're calling you from top floor. Uh, if you please come on down to insight the tree. Thank you. Old lady attachment with Paulinius. Uh, Jesus. No, uh, Welchier's instinct on Bozo. Bozo actually camp at Welchier's now. Uh, Shrungus. Shrimgus. If you would please use the skin prophecy book so I can find out what the fuck it does. And now, let's see. What do the different kings do? They have their own unique upgrades and abilities. And they get their own unique armband. Uh, the armband for this place is temperance, which boosts your work speed even more. The armband for control is speed. All right, so there's a chance Tim does not survive. Is there a creature inside that? I swear to God, I see hands. I see hands! It's covered up by analyzing perceptive reactions! That's hands. Look, we just need Tim to survive one second. Just one. So, the book can be read until one's prudence reaches its limit. Okay, well, it's not. The book hasn't done anything that's a problem yet, which is cool. Tim? Okay, Tim did not approach the tree. That's good. So, what does it do, though? When the work result was good, the Quifloff counter lowered. You fucking love to see that. You love it when a fucking an abnormality in this game says, when you do a good job, I actually punish you. I'm gonna get worse if you do it good. You gotta do it bad. When employee panicked in the containment unit, the Quifloff counter lowered. Okay. When the Quifloff counter reached zero, a few random employees in the facility began to move towards 004100. This status was designated as captivated. When a captivated employee reaches the containment unit, they were dragged into the tree. Okay. Well, good news is we have Bungus. We have three, everyone down here other than freaking idiot has a white gun that can probably knock you out if you're captivated. Uh, <laughs> probably. But I don't think there's any reason to just send, fuck, I, it's just, me. first couple times is always so rough, dude. First couple times. Uh, if Bozo would please, oh wait, no, Bozo, no, I want you to keep Doing well, cheers. Uh, Shrimgus. Repression work on Jesus. Thank you. I don't know how I feel about this tree. But you know what? I'm gonna send, uh. I'm gonna send. I'm gonna send Bungus in. And hope he comes out alive. I can't believe people can die so easily. Okay, we're gonna cancel that. We're gonna send in freaking idiot. That was a bad omen. I'm not sending in Bungus now. <laughs> I'm just not doing that. Quifloff meltdown on oh, shrimp. Tim, if you please get uh get over to old lady. Don't fuck this up, man. Insight seems to be good. But we don't know if we want it to be good. Matter of fact, I think we want it bad. We may have a situation here. Also, Dawn is coming, uh, which is bad. That's not good, actually. If you if you didn't if you didn't know, 
Uh, it's not good when dawn comes. You don't like it when dawn comes in this game. Uh, Bozo, get back in there. Keep working on Welchers. Just don't get eaten by the tree. You know what? Sending you two over. If anyone tries to enter this tree zone, gets captivated, gun them down. Okay. Two more of these. After continuously attempting to select and converse with Courtney, who was captivated, they seemingly returned to normal. When all captivated employees returned to normal, the Quaithloff counter returned to its maximum. All right, here's what we're going to do instead. Uh, we're sending everyone here up top. So that way, if any of us, we're not going to have anyone camping around anymore. Uh, this tree means, at least until we know its full deal and know the count on it, we're not going to leave anyone in places where they can't be intercepted by other employees. Uh... Because it looks like from the judging of the tree getting all flowery, it's probably got one more cycle before uh, it it brings someone over. So uh, we're going to go ahead and bring the team up real quick. All right, everyone's uh, here. Good. Now we're going to send down one person. Once I've confirmed the last guy tip. After dragging an employee in, when another employee commenced to work with 004100, the Quaithloff counter returned to its maximum. Furthermore, the HP and SP of every employee in the facility was healed. Wow, that's so nice of it. Insight's common, which is so fucking scary that Insight's common, when I assumed that was like the good result, I need to find which thing it fucking hates. And I still don't even know its counter. God damn it. Well, we're all relatively stacked. Um, I mean, we just have to hope that whoever we send down there doesn't um, get hypnotized. So of all of our characters that are throwaway, Tim is the most throwaway. So Tim, if you'd be so kind as to be the sacrifice. Thank you. Tree's getting bad, dude. I think this could be it. But you know, if we already know inside's good no matter what, there's really not much reason to not like try a different one and see what happens. So we're gonna send Tim in with instinct instead and just see if it comes out with a better result. Tim is doing worse. The question is, can Tim mentally handle failure? Because he's taking mental damage doing this. Oh my God! And got eaten. No, Tim. Oh, well, now we know instinct was also pretty. Dude, that didn't even that didn't even fucking de bloom the tree. Hang on, send a send a. Let's. This is a, now we can see. Okay, Tim is dead. Paul, get on down there. Get down there, Paul. How does attachment work? Going better? No, it's going worse. Problem is, without going into another thing, I can't actually see how much health... Oh, yeah, I know what's happening. They're dying. The mental damage in this is so high... Well, no, because Paul just had a mental break. Yeah, Paul's just having a panic attack. Okay, uh... Who the hell's that? <laughs> who the fuck's that guy? Is that Tim? Uh... I'm gonna send Bungus down to kill Paul. Bungus, please go down there and shoot Paul until they're dead. Can someone please hang out with the old lady? Oh, wait. Paul's cool. I told Paul to go hang out with Grandma, and he was just like, "I'm, I'm over it," and just went and just went back to work. Cool. Oh, because the tree had a body in it, so it refilled everyone's HP and SP, meaning that Paul was actually instantly healed after panicking. So they're okay. Well, tree's back to normal. So what I'm gonna do now is actually send Bungus in because he's got a high amount of uh, SP on. Rip 
depression. See how that does. The fruit of understanding has come. Oh my god, it's eating someone! It landed on that guy! Theta, no! All teams! All teams! All teams to the fruit of understanding. In wings two, three, and four. Now. All teams, move. Shoot them, Alpha 11. Shoot them. Go, 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 go. It's camping Bungus's door. Get them. Everything's okay. All right, we got it. Everything's fine, Chad. Everyone just calm down. Everyone just calm down. Aside from Tim, who's still dead. Is there a reason I can't see the health on any of my characters? Because I swear, I used to be able to, like, in the game, you're supposed to be able to, like, see the health and mental state without having to, like, maneuver a bunch of crap. I don't know why. It's an, uh oh, it's an upgrade. Okay, yeah, that's right. Thought something was off. Uh, anyways, common low. Okay, so if we want bad results, we want to do repression. We still have to get that other fucking fruit thing, which has now eaten two people. Beta, no! Beta, you had a gun. Why are you in melee? All right, he's been eaten. Go, go, go! Glad you guys feel like it's okay to walk there. Oh. We got it. We're okay. The day's actually complete. All right, no one hangs out with grandma anymore. <laughs> no one goes near grandma. We're gonna send people I mean, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna spend a lot of points sending Evangeline in on insight on the tree just to try to get some more points for the tree so we can get it done. Someone won't know everything about it. We need to know it's counter. But Mima, what about Mima? I care about them as much as I care about Tim. There's a reason I didn't actually customize Tim, okay? We need at least one person to be the throwaway character. I don't like doing full resets all the time. So Tim got himself a... Tim got a one-way ticket to hell. Tim got a one-way ticket to the heck realm. Evangeline took a good amount of damage. Bungus, you head down there to work again. Keeping an eye out for when it gets really bloomy. And then we'll end the day when it looks like someone's about to get got. The tree sucks. The tree's not great. The tree's a bad scene. I don't like the tree. But uh, we know it can't escape, so we're going to do basic information. Two. Okay, so when it reaches... Okay. When it reaches zero, random employees are grabbed. Uh, is that the only time? Damn. I hate the tree. I don't like the tree. When the work result was good, quiet thought counter lowered. Uh, when employee panicked... Okay, so what happened is they panicked because I had a mental break, and that got Tim grabbed because he died. Uh, okay. There's nothing in here. There's nothing in here that brings up the counter. We just have to choose that the counter is gonna go down and when it goes down to zero, we're gonna have to grab, this is like a really bad anomaly, essentially. Uh, it's Cause we haven't seen the bad part. So I might actually force the bad parts hand here uh, by sending Bungus down again 
to do research because everyone else is stacked where they should be. So as long as Bungus isn't the one that's like, can you just ignore it? Well, yeah, the thing is, the pretty much the, I actually am going to do this for this. I'm going to see how much damage Bungus takes doing repression. Because if the work result is bad, the problem is, chat, uh, it needs to be between four and six or the work, the work result is, uh, good enough that we lose points. So we need someone to basically tank the hits. So I need to see if Bungus can survive. But that's the thing, he's already almost reached the point where it's... Okay, how's Bungus doing right now? Bungus will live. Okay, so essentially you need someone at Bungus' level to survive the tree. And keep the counter from going up. And we're never going to be able to get any of the items from this thing like this. Ever. And again, you can only make one of each, and they're not really very good. All right, yeah, I'm not going to lose any sleep over that. Uh, have we interacted with the, the prophecy? Yeah, we did. Who is it in there? It's shrimp, shrimp, pung, shrimp. Shrimgus. All right. Because uh, Tim got fucking eaten. God damn it. Well, I'll, I'm not gonna lose any sleep. No one's gonna lose any sleep over Tim. All right, I didn't even know his last name. So we've learned some things. We can neglect grandma and we can basically neglect the tree. That's good. We can use grandma as free power farming or we can just fully neglect her. Just like we neglect Jesus. All right, so. People have been committing sins since long ago. Why do they commit sins? Knowing it's wrong. You've pressed it numerous times and you still have something you want to know about it? This is a recording of the day we must never forget. One, two, three. I, we don't even need a poll for this one, I don't think. But, well, let's see what happens. I don't think... Oh! Huh. People hate the bird. People hate the bird. Oh, you guys are trying to end my run, aren't you? <laughs> There's never this many votes unless someone's trying to end my run. That's fine. I get to keep my characters in this one. That's one of the quality of life mods I had. So if we reset, we're just going to lose all these fucking SCPs. We're going to have to get new ones. It's way nicer. I'll have you know. All right. It's the button. Skip. 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 I don't have an opinion because I'm skipping the lore. Goodbye. Complete four instinct works. I can do that. All right. Can't believe Tim fucking died. Anyways, higher. Nope. Higher. Nope. Higher. Nope. Higher. Nope. Higher. Nope. Higher. Stem cell 462. Now that's a goddamn name. I don't give two shits about Jacob. Let's hang out with Stem Cell 462. They're doing the XD face, basically. Very kawaii. All right, fortitude and prudence are gonna be leveled up automatically. Welcome to the team, stem cell. We're gonna be part of information sector. Let's get you clothed. Take this gun.
Well, uh, we don't need that many people, so I'm not gonna hire anyone else. We're trying to save lob points. Actually, chat, do lob points carry over between resets? I don't think they do. No. Mm, then I might level up stem cell a little more. To two is flat. And then I'll also get Evangeline to a level three. All right. Well, it's probably going to be bad today. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. I pressed it. All right, I killed everyone. You happy? Happy? Game crashed. <sighs> Happy now that I interacted with the anomalous button. He did it! He did it! He pressed the button, dude! Dude, L O L. <laughs> That's an Omega LOL for me, dude. I think we got a reset. No, we're okay. We just can't ever interact with that button. If there's any meltdowns on that button, we just can't touch it. We just have to ignore it. Dude. Come on, man. What the fuck just happened? <laughs> what the fuck just happened, man? Let me just... Mm. Alright, we're gonna reset. We're gonna reset, we're gonna run it back, day one. <laughs> reset, run it back, new anomalies, day one, let's get the fuck out of here. Soft locked by a button. Uh, it's just, look, we need gear, okay? And I've gotten two fucking, I've gotten two like anomalies I would say are bricking my progression. And uh, the tree doesn't help. The tree's a, the tree's a babysit anomaly. That's a babysitting anomaly. I gotta care about that one everywhere. Our best bet is to reset day one with our with our agents. I believe that with the mod I have, it should carry them over. If it doesn't, I'm gonna be very sad. So we gotta start with one sin, hundreds of good deeds. Skip. Don't care. Even if it doesn't carry over my agents, we get to keep all of our um, items and research, which means we get stronger every time. Unfortunately, your ego is just vaporized. Uh, well, I still have the ones that I need, so it's not a big deal. But that is a funny goof. It doesn't really affect us for this one because we I don't have any crazy egos. The characters we care about right now on these on this guy and we get to keep all of our temporary things so no biggie though i'm sure i'm sure some chat members were really hoping i'd get really mad uh looking at how the votes were playing out there i'm sure at least a couple people didn't pick that because they thought it'd be a, a silly goof they probably picked it because they thought i'd get uh frothing mad Anyways, 
get to it. I know I should honestly send in the weaker characters. Nah, we'll just spam repression research to level up uh, justice. Spam it. Spam it. Hang out with Jesus. What's up, JC? It's been a while. I mean, couldn't you have just ignored the button? Yeah, dude. Yeah, I could have just ignored it, dude. That's definitely the takeaway. <laughs> I'm not mad. Because we were going to reset anyways. But to go like, LOL, just don't touch it. In this, in like a game where you just got a new thing. Uh, that's, that's, that's a nothing argument. You're saying nothing. Just don't press it, dude. LOL. You could have just not interacted with that part of the game. I know we voted to give it to you. I know we voted to give it to you. But you could have just ignored it. It's fine. We don't really lose that much because we already have stockpiled stuff. See, we just made back the most important thing, which is the armor this guy had fixed. None of the characters we had, like, none of the anomalies we had were like, Oh, we need this item. So it's not a big deal. All right. I just want to run a couple more so I can try to level up our justice on freaking idiot because he's still level one justice. I'm just trying to run it. I'm surprised we haven't gotten the item this guy gives, which is a hat for plus two SP. I'm surprised we've never gotten it. Then again, I don't know if it would overwrite our. No, we have an eye. I keep running this on freaking idiot just to get the. Uh, outfit. I'll be fish for that justice upgrade. So is the game designed for iterative runs? Yes. It's not a roguelike. But, uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, no, that, that button thing would hurt really bad if I had, like, W-A-W uh, items. But I have nothing over Teth, so what do I care? That stuff can all be instantly replaced by other Teth-like level creatures. Still didn't get the headset. All right. Did that level him up to... Nice. Okay, that's what we wanted. Next day, let's roll. Good news is, uh, now we can check out some other stuff. This is a recording of the day we must never forget is one. Let's all become fruits. Let's all hang together. Or everything will be peaceful while you're, while you're under the fairy's care. One, two, three. It goes without saying that if the button appears again, we won't be picking it. It won't be in the poll vote. So. Just so we're all on the same page. I'm also not going to be picking things we've already seen. So those will be excluded if we see them in the future. Dude, I love voting in the chat, dude. I love saying the number in the chat, even though it doesn't go to the poll that we're using, dude. I fucking love saying the number, bro. I type it out in actual letters, dude. Yes, bro. All right. It's looking like two. Let's all become fruits. Let's all hang together. Skip. I do wish that in subsequent runs, you could skip the dialogue. I mean, yeah, there's a skip. I know there's literally a skip button, but I mean, like, fully skip the cutscene so I don't have to click, like, the conversation boxes. I need like a super skip. I'm fast enough, man. I'm fast enough. 
All right, uh, who still has level ones and things? Oh yeah, Paul. Paul's actually a real character that sucks. I think Evangeline is too high level to really benefit much from doing anything else here. So I'm gonna just let them sit aside for a bit. Uh, Shrimgus. Take a gun. Also, I need everyone on control team to put on the, the good outfit. All right, see what this thing is. Can't be that bad. The fuck is that? The fuck is that? What is that? Get, someone get mom. <laughs> someone get mom. Some kind of pylon. A tree laced with ribbons, though it appears harmless, the occasional rumor says otherwise. Gender reveal pylon. I'm gonna send Shrimgus in to repress it. Mom, it's weird! Help! I'm sending in... <laughs> I'm sending in Shrim Shrimgus to repress it. I guess is doing an average job. Everyone is bound to come across a situation they cannot endure. Dude, you're the first pick of the game. Chill. <laughs> Save that for like pick four of anomalies, dude. Don't you go tell me I can't endure you. You're the second pick of the game. Would you be able to persevere? Shut up. All right. One. Dingle Dangle. <laughs> we know the name of the demon. We can exercise it. Dingle Dangle. Be gone from this container. Be gone from this container. Dingle Dangle attempts to hypnotize an agent with over three prudence every 40 seconds. However, if any of their other three stats are also over three, they are unaffected. Is this the most... This is a bricked playthrough. <laughs> if that happens everywhere, this is a bricked playthrough. It could only happen to Paul. So let's see if... If Paul gets affected by hypnosis. Right? Because that's the only thing. Attempts uh, to hypnotize an agent was over three prudence every 40 seconds. That's no one. No one's over. Well, no, because they have other stats. No, but no one has stats over three. All right, go on. Go on, dingle dangle. Do your fucking thing. Let's see how bad it is. Because we're, we're all carrying white gear, like white fighting gear. Have I misread this? Over three. However, if they have, okay. So it's not anyone that's low. It's only when they have over three prudes. Uh, however, if any of their other three stats are also three, they are unaffected. Okay, so let prudence is the last thing we should level on any of our characters. Uh, we need people to be at, like... Okay, I see. Well, we have time to figure that out. Uh, but we're definitely going to be limiting our insight work then for a while. Uh, Shrimgus. Wait, no, who is it that we sent in last time? Well, the, the repression wasn't a very good pick. Freaking idiot. We're not doing anything with prudence either, because that seems just bad. Uh, Shrimgus, go in with temperance. I want to see what happens. I'm not going to forget. We just won't be leveling Prudence as fast. We just need to level up something with it. But plus, it might not be that bad. We don't know the other parts of this, Chad. It might not be... Dingle Dangle might be the Ding Dang nicest creature we've ever had in this freaking facility. I swear to God. A hypnotized Agent Noah entered Dingle Dangle's containment unit in a trance. This phenomenon has been dubbed allurement. When said agent was killed, a fruit appeared in the containment chamber. So far, I'm not a big fan of Dingle Dangle. 
I uh, so far, chat. I'm not feeling the dingle dangle uh, situation. I just don't really like dingle dangle. But I'm gonna send uh, Shrimgus in once he's all healed up to do more repression work, just cause feels safe and we know it. I hate Dingle Dangle, dude. <laughs> I, everyone, I've asked many of people about their opinions on Dingle Dangle when they pass me on the street, I have a little clipboard. I've been asking them what they think about Dingle Dangle. Every single one of them has been like, I fucking hate Dingle Dangle. I don't like Dingle Dangle. Matter of fact, not even Dingle Dangle likes being Dingle Dangle. Look at that. You think because it was a bad result, he's going to hypnotize someone to eat? PE box production was increased when a fruit was formed. Very cool. We don't even get an ego gift for this one, dude. Dingle Dangle's a fucking total sandbag on my entire career. Whatever. Paulinus can't survive Dingle Dangle. Bungus, get in there and insight. I don't care. There's nothing saying he, he needs insight help. Can someone go hang out with Jesus now? Someone please go hang out with Jesus. I just need to find out what's like good on Dingle Dangle for research at least. God, I cannot believe how obnoxious. Dingle Dangle's gonna be such a fucking piece of shit. Well, we don't want insight. So it looks like instinct's the best bet right now. I mean, I'm gonna farm Dingle Dangle to hell and back then if he's gonna fucking make this such a big deal. Uh, freaking idiot, get in there. We'll just stay stupid. We'll stay mentally stupid and just do everything that way. We're gonna stay dumber than a sack of bricks all the time. That'll be what we do. Instinct seems to be a good option. Attachment also works. Okay, so instinct or attachment for this guy. Fine. Paul can't survive it. Uh, Shrimgus attachment. And can someone... Paul, keep training your combat prowess. Paul needs upgrades. We'll have to actually use lob points on Paul, I think. I don't think Paul's going to catch up. God. Dingle Dangle is, sucks. I hate Dingle Dangle. I don't like how I have to think about this now. It's not going to matter for so long. You know it's going to suck when we remember that Dingle Dangle exists and is real. I'm telling you, man, it's gonna suck. We don't know, we're gonna all forget about Dingle Dangle and then Dingle Dangle's gonna be like, surprise. And then, then they're gonna get us. We should all start counting our blessings now. It's Dingle Dangle's gonna come. <laughs> Dingle Dangle's gonna totally freaking mess us up. One out of three people is a Dingle Dangle. Oh my god. Dingle Dangle. I don't like this picture. I don't like this. I don't like this picture. Huh? Well. All right, Dingle Dangle. This is definitely a mod creature, I believe. Uh... A new fruit is formed on the tree. Let's all become friends. It's all hang together. I believe I believe a lot of the wonder mod ones are still getting like added stuff. So uh, that's this is like a wonder mod anomaly from the mod. But I mean, it, without looking at the description, I believe this was base game. To be honest, it, uh, aside from the thing that I noticed that made me go like, oh, this isn't uh, this isn't base game. It's just that it didn't have a gift. That's the only flag I had before. I mean, it's a creative idea. It feels like mechanically like it belongs in the game. And it's nothing that's like too obnoxious. Even though like this early in the game, it makes me feel like maybe I should just reset to avoid dealing with Dingle Dangle later. But we'll be okay. We'll be fine as long as Bungus doesn't get to level four prudence. Over three. So they have to be four. They have to be almost end game characters, chat. Like a level four person, like a level four prudence is like end game. Uh, 
that's high level. I just want to get the last thing done so I can see their items. See, I just need to do like one more cycle of research. I want to know if at least their gear is worth hanging out with Dingle Dangle, you know? Fungus, get on in there. Paul, get on in there. I just want to see if their gear is good. At least that'll make me feel better about this. I believe, yeah, all the Wonder Mod stuff was uh, based off of, well, Wonder Lab stuff is based off a comic uh, set in the same world. Okay, the suit's really good. Unless we get stuff that breaks out and does black damage. Uh, the weapon is also good. Okay, good stuff on this. All right, Dingle Dangle, we'll keep Dingle Dangle around. Yeah. We'll keep Dingle Dingle around. Either way, day's over. Uh, Shrimgus got their stuff upgraded. That's good. Next day. It's a good day. Are you still shy today? Skip old lady. Uh, I'm coming to you. You, who will be reduced to ash like me. One, three. Mods, I know that it's confusing, but we'll just leave it as the poll as one or three. Unless you just set it to one or two. Okay, perfect, thank you. Uh, just so people don't get confused and think they're only voting for this or old lady. It's a good day, are you still shy today? I'm coming to you, you who will be reduced to ash like. It's uh, looking unlikely that one is gonna close the gap on this one. This one seems locked in. <laughs> this one seems locked in. I don't think one is gonna catch up 30%. Yeah. People are really trying to end the game now. Look, all of it contributes to future runs, especially this early, because I get to keep my agents. So I, all these just contribute to, oh, I now I know what this one is and I'm not gonna fucking pick it next time and I'll have like the items for it. Stem cell. Wait, no. Bozo, get in there. And especially if stuff's gonna be carrying over, we probably do wanna like make sure we use our lob points when we can. Bozo, bringing you up to tier two. We do need better gear. We need to get some better clothes. I hate him, I hate him. I hate this one. Hang on, my mouse. I hate this one. I hate this little creep. Oh. All right, well. Instinct. Punch the kid in the face, bozo. Go now. Punch this idiot in the face with instincts. Is what I would say if I didn't want you to hug the child, Bozo, and protect them. Is what I would say if I didn't want you to repress them. Go, Bozo! <laughs> repress them! Going poorly. Going poorly. Going well. Going poorly. Going poorly. Going well. Going bad. Going bad. Going okay. Going well. Going going poorly. It went okay. We live. <laughs> I lived. I lived. So, uh, what are you? When the work result was normal, Quifloff countered normal, lowered with a normal probability. Cool, epic. 
Cool, cool, cool. There's no way that was a good result on repression. So we're gonna ignore that for now. Attachment. Shrimgus, go do attachment. Meanwhile, Dingle Dangle, I want you. I want attachment with Dingle Dangle as well. And Jesus, I want someone to use insight on Jesus. Thank you. I'm watching this fucking freak like a hawk. No one, no one g kills any of my agents with uh, fire moves. Okay, they're gonna blow up. They're melting down. Okay, they hate being hugged. I repeat, <laughs> Shrumkus, get the fuck out of there. They'll be fine. See, they got a little. They got a little hug in. They lived. See, how close were they to dying? Oh. D colon, dude. Anyways, I get the weird feeling that in a second, uh, this thing's gonna break out. No, nope, we're okay. Okay, so attachment, not great. Insight. Freaking idiot. <laughs> get in there. Meanwhile, dingle dangle. Dingle dangle Paul. If you will. No one go anywhere. No one go past the line. Okay. Okay, Paul. Stay, stay calm over there with Dingle Dangle. Freaking idiot's doing way better with Insight. Insight's going well. Insight's Insight's good. Insight is what we needed. Chad. Insight is where the answer is Paul's gone mad manager please do something about my situation if you're seeing this please save me ah uh okay but bungus can you please beat the shit out of Paul um and bozo please help as well ah! Ah! I don't have time to care about this you guys please go beat crap out of him and get him you guys fucking actually missed Okay, well, the fire worked. When the work result was bad, Pi Fly count lowered. F0102, who had escaped, exploded after being near their target for five seconds. Copy that. <laughs> Copy that. Okay, so insight's only good if the person's not very good at it. Look. Okay, well, we still don't know the count, but we do know that insight's a good answer. CAN SOMEONE SHOOT PAUL?! Who has the gun? Freaking idiot! None of us have a gun anymore because of the freaking button. Cut Paul off and beat the crap out of him! Help! We'll be okay. <laughs> we'll be fine. Someone will, someone will catch him soon. <laughs> so, he'll, he'll, he'll be okay. No one panic. Uh, Trimgus, can you go hang out with FO102? Guys, everyone ignore Paul. He's gonna be fine. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. And it's gonna be fine. We need people to keep hanging out with Dingle Dangle, but I also need people to beat the crap out of Paul. Uh, freaking idiot, can you go, like, work at the thing? We're never catching Paul. He's a lost cause. I think we give up on him. He's too fast. <laughs> He's too fast. We need better weapons. No one can calm Paul. Too fast. Dingle dangle. We need Dingle dangle's item. Really badly. speed this up now. I think we've got this pretty much figured out. We can't help Paul level. Paul might be getting fired soon. Uh, not really sure what to say about that. Paul might be getting fired. Can't craft anything from Dingle Dangle yet. Is fire person... God damn it. 
Really? You couldn't get the last one? You couldn't perfect it? You couldn't simply do as I ask? Not done. So I'm not done. Just everyone ignore Paul. No one cares anymore. Paul, we're over it. Stop chasing. Stop chasing. Everyone, st Bozo, stop chasing him. No one cares anymore. Just go back to your room. Everyone pretend they're not there. Okay, one sin's got all their stuff back. That's good. We need to figure out the escape velocity of this scary creature. Okay. They're weak to white damage. That's good. Most of us are white damage. Unfortunately, we don't have ranged white damage. Uh, we're going to keep researching them for a bit longer. Dingle Dangle, we can get the spear now. I think we need a very fast spear weapon. I think that's going to be that's going to be necessary later on. Uh, insight on freaking idiot. Dingle Dangle. What are the good Dingle Dangle ones? Instinct and attachment. Uh, instinct on Bungus. And Jesus on Shrimgus. <laughs> Our names are terrible. How do you guys even die? What happened? <laughs> what happened? Someone explain. Paul murdered them. Paul ain't murdering anyone. Paul is having a good time. He'd never do something like that. Wow, Bungus really dropped the fucking ball on Dingle Dangle that time. Okay, Scorched Girl. It takes the form of a girl burnt to ashes. Even though there's nothing left to burn, the, files, the fire still doesn't extinguish. A matchstick impales the girl's body like a stake. Usually the match is always lit, while the abnormality shows no sign of activity. Because of this, employees often speculate that the matchstick may be the abnormality's true body. However, recently, the ashen figure was seen crying, according to witnesses. The charred body represents the child's crumbled hope, while the ever-burning flame represents the obsession for affection. It's always in conflict with the contradiction between these two. We paid a boatload, and that's all they have to say? Uh, says, says the research staff after they asked for this specialist doctor's opinion. Well, she's like a ticking time bomb. No one can tell if she's in a good mood or not. We just hope that we, we won't be the one blown up before entering the containment unit. She won't get any better. We can only try and keep her from getting worse. Copy that. Copy that. Yeah, do not try to do attachment. Don't even bother. They're on their own. Ah, oh, Jesus needs help. Uh, insight. Freaking idiot. Dingle dangle. Attachment with Shrimgus once they've healed. Okay. It looks to me that we might have Paul trying to go hang out. Nope, they're good. And Bungus, go back down. We want to finish Bungus's... How many times I gotta tell you, Bozo? Nothing can be done for Paul! Leave him! Not one thing can be done for Paul. Paul's on their own. And did Bungus just get the, uh, item? Yeah. No. Okay, so yeah, Insight's the best. After that, it's everything. None of it's great, though. Uh, wow. That's a rocket launcher. <laughs> wow. That's some kind of freaking rocket launcher. I mean, I want the... I want their gear, for sure. This is going to be a creature we continue to farm. But, uh, we're gonna end the day... Alas, there was literally nothing we could do for Paul. They died of a heart attack. Uh, alas, we will never forget Paul, even though he had no skills in anything and was a totally expendable NPC. Goodbye.
I, I mean, there was nothing that we could do. He was simply too fast. All right. This bracelet shall not forgive those who hold greed in their hearts. Thus, it must only be worn by those in true need. Do you remember this melody? The professor used to play this song when students were sleepy. Happy birthday. One or two. We are not taking skin prophecy. I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. All right, which one was it? Which one we got? Two. Do you remember this melody? The professor used to play this song when the students were sleepy. Happy birthday. Skip. Skip. Who cares? We're gonna blast through this one fast. I don't know what the birthday one is. S stem cell. <laughs> no, we should actually hire new people. I think we hire some new people. We hire a new... Christopher, pass, too boring. Parker, pass. No, 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 no. No, 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 too boring. No, 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 yawn, 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 Dungo. Now that's a fucking name. Good. Sorry, did I say Dungo? I meant Dung. Dung. All right. Ego, gotta get them clothes for starters. We're gonna get them the spear and the solitude outfit. No. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Cool. Again. The fuck is that? All right. This is this could be a full reset for today, as in like we restart the day. I'm gonna send Dune. No. I'm gonna send Bozo in. Bozo. Use T0909 and let me know how that plays out. Everyone get ready with Rip Bozo, dude. Those who listen to Teresa's music will recover SP, including the employee playing the music box and everyone in the department where the abnormality is located. Okay. Keep going. We're going to restart the whole day once I find out how far you get to go in before you freaking die. So just keep going. We're going until Bozo rips. Okay, Bozo ripped. 
I repeat. Bozo ripped. Uh, who here has uh, white weapons? Okay, Dune did does. So Dune did you go apprehend. They have a red weapon. White. And white. Could you three just go please beat the crap out of uh, Bozo while they... Uh, because they're currently attacking Beta 6. Like a freaking asshole. Also, if we could please get some insight on... Shrimgus, if you could actually do your fucking job during all this, that'd be cool. Someone has to actually take care of Scorched Girl, and someone needs to do Dingle Dangle too. But we'll apprehend Bozo first. Wait a minute. If only their mental state has gone down, why, what's stopping us from simply telling freaking idiot to go back in and raise everyone's SP even more? Freaking idiot, get in there! What'd they just fucking say? I thought I gave you a freaking order, freaking idiot. Go! Raise their SP! What the fuck is that weapon? Okay, there we go. Bozo's fixed. We saved Bozo, chat. Wait, then what's stopping me from... Bozo, please get back inside the machine. Everyone else, please camp the door. Bozo, get the fuck back in there, please. Bozo, I order you get in there now. Thank you. Everything's fine. It's okay, Chet. Everything's fine. Everyone, the second Bozo has a mental break, we're gonna go in there, we're gonna beat the shit out of him, okay? Everything's gonna be fine. Shrimgus, where do you think you're going? You're working, you're, you're, you're on scorched girl duty today. Uh, let him heal first. Is this going well? Well, so it's back to, back at his old, his, his old antics. Get him! The weird dude i think that spear might be insanely strong oh that spear is insane okay well uh bozo's back to normal back in they go when 20 to 30 seconds are passed after the music box begins playing the sp of the employee operating the music box will begin to rapidly fall causing them to panic okay well i'm gonna keep farming this until it's done no reason not to because this actually they heal everyone here does white damage so uh Everyone heals while Bozo is continuing to farm the points. It's, uh, it's, uh, so simple. Oh, sorry, no. Dunga, you don't do that. Uh, who was doing this again? Shrimgus? Doing well in there, man. All right, Bozo's had another mental break. Everyone beat the crap out of him again. Thank you, Bozo. Get back in there. <laughs> now this is gaming. Now, now this is what I call freaking gaming. We're gonna unlock everything for this now, so I know what it does perfectly. While we farm Scorched Girl armor. Bozo's had another mental break. Kill him. Very good. Bozo, get back in. There are a few phrases crudely carved on its surface. Do you remember this melody? The professor used to play this song when the students were sleepy. When wound up, a sad melody begins to play. No one knows when it was made or who made it. But it doesn't seem to be new, judging from the slight skips in the song. We may not get another actual news thing on this one. We may not get another actual, like, news thing. Just because of the fact that uh, we... Well, actually, like, like, like abilities. Because it's not giving us anything new on Tier 3. So we might be done. But we're gonna let it run the rest of the way anyways. It's a really- this is good, like, this is a manageable thing. This is like one of the most manageable on-use spots in the- like, I've seen, I think. Damn, Shringus, what is up, man? That was an actual fucking bad result on Insight. Isn't that the good one? People are screaming.
How much SP has Bozo lost? They haven't even lost any yet. I kind of want to watch this. Instant. Okay, it's instant. It's not a rapidly fall. It's instantly. All right. Well, we got the whole thing. Yeah, this year's music box will make anyone feel like everything will be okay in the end, lifting their fatigue. However, excessive listening will make one lose grip on reality and then be driven mad. All right, everyone, back to business as usual. See, what's the thing? The thing is, I bet we can use... There's actually something I do want to test. Bozo, one more trip in, please. And at the same time, I want Dune Go to camp here. I want to test one more thing. I want to see if Dungo going in after them can instantly heal them. Because I think that would be pretty good. Okay, Dungo. Get in there. Ignore them. Okay. We'll see if this actually counts as healing them or not. It does. Okay, there's... We can... That's like this. That's so good. That's actually like... We don't need to worry about mental breaks ever again. There will never be another Paul. Until the day we die, there will never be another Paul in this facility. Dying for no reason. So help me God. That's great. Yeah, that's awesome. As long as I count the, as long as like there's always another person around, we can always cancel it if we overdo it. That's awesome. Let's say on Dung. That's great. It's too bad Paul had to die before we had this knowledge and power. It's just a shame. Anyways, attachment farming, let's go. As soon as Dune goes done with this one, we're gonna send him into attachment farming. We need to farm attachment. We can get this Scorched Girl rocket launcher, which we want. Uh, Bozo. What a shame. We're starting to reach the curve where I'm gonna have to care about the uh, dingle dangle. It's coming. It's coming, Chad. I told you it was gonna happen and no one believed me. Dingle dangles are gonna come soon. He, he's gonna, he's gonna do the thing. I want to say this, if you say gross when I say Dingle Dangle is going to come and do his horrible thing, you're the sicko, okay? Just to be clear, you're the sicko. You're the one making it that. I'm not going to point any fingers or name any names, but we all know who we are. We all know it. All right, after this last cycle of uh, three, we're gonna end the day. Because we do have the exact same day again after this, which we'll just blast through. That'll be a fast one. Prudence up to three. Oh boy, Shroomgus is getting close to that danger level, dude. Shroomgus is getting close to the level where frickin' psycho mode activates with Dingle Dangle. I might have to just like pay money to level them up forcefully to the next thing if they get to that level. Because they won't level up mid game.
Put us three. They're the only one it's active on. Yeah, just gotta be careful. Anyways, uh, Bozo. <laughs> Anyways, Bozo. Someone has to be the one that brings violence. So I want that to be you. Thank you. Bozo will bring violence wherever they go. I also think flat out the uh, spear is better. This thing, but we don't have another one yet. So I can't move us off of the weird, like, mace. Okay. Scorch girl insight uh, on Bozo. Repression on Jesus. Dingle dangle instinct on freaking idiot. And now we just let that roll for another day. We're just farming. We're just farming. Nothing to see here. Just a quick farming day. This is the easy one. Get another dingle dangle spear to replace our other weapons. Well, at least we're never going to have a mental break on like the team again. Shringus. Go ahead. God. Attachment. Meltdown! Meltdown on Teresa! Bozo, get over there! Insect, freaking idiot. It's gotta get ready, because as long as they go in, it counts as turning off the countdown. So I just have to cancel it the second I call them over so we don't get, like, the debuff. Uh... Insight on Bozo. Dingle Dangle Instinct on freaking Idiot. Yeah, we're entering like power leveling phase for these five. We're just gonna try to get them as leveled as possible before the day ends. Just trying to make as much money as we can. Jesus is getting mad. I don't know why Jesus is getting mad. Scorched girl, fungus. Jesus, Dune Go, Dingle Dangle, freaking idiot. All right, this should finish the day. This ball ain't NBA standard. I don't fuck with that. Jesus be balling. Yeah. The ego suit for this, uh, for the girl going to be quite helpful. Dingle Dangles also. I mean, to be fair, Dingle Dangles is kind of insane. Dingle Dangle is just very good. All right. An excellent day. Prudence 3, Fortitude 3. Dunga didn't level up anything. Oh, they're, they are not. They're not doing what I need them to do out there. Okay, so this is gonna be, be between two and three. However, the curse continues eternally, never broken. Or everything will be peaceful while you're while you're under the fairy's care. Two, curse eternally never broken, or fairies on three. Dude, I love voting before the poll is up, dude. In the chat, bro. I fucking love voting early, dude, in the chat where it doesn't matter, dude. It's always fucking funny. Remember, anyone that votes for the old lady is wasting their vote. Especially if you do it in the chat where it's literally double wasted. The fairies chat? <sighs> Why would you want the fucking fairies? You don't really know what you ask. All right. Looks like it's fairies. 
Skip. Boo! Boo! I want Dingle Dangle again! Stem cell. Get in there. Evangeline, get in there. We're going to hire a new recruit. Their name? Boring. 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 Velasquez, no. Their name's going to be Weirdo. <laughs> All right, Weirdo, you're in. Look at the team. To move Bungus down. Weirdo up. Bungus down. It's also, I think, time we level up some of our other stuff. So Bungus, we're going to make very well rounded at threes now across the board. Uh, Dungan needs help. They're not leveling their stats fast enough, so we're gonna give them two levels of temperance. Okay. Ego list. God, our bottom tier guys are so... They just don't have very good stuff. Uh, okay, white damage on that. Ego weapon for Bungus is gonna be... Spear. Stem cell is gonna get the... As long as nothing's doing black damage, this is good. Again. Ooh, I hate that weird fucking thing. Ooh, I hate that weird little fucking thing. Don't like that. Anyways, uh, Bungus, go in there, try to understand it. All right, Bungus took physical damage twice. Bungus, it's attacking him with melee red damage. But we're resistant to that. So we're okay. We have a breach! We have a breach! There's a breach in the facility! Explain. When the work result was normal or good, small fairies appeared around the employee. Well, are they still there? I don't see them anymore. Uh, I punch the fairy this time. Get in there and punch him. Going much better. Going much better. Way better. Don't treat these, don't treat this thing like it's a person. All right, this is a demon, a creature of the fey realm. We hate them. Perfect execution with Bungus that time. So what happened? Small fairies will heal the employee's HP over a limited time. Okay, if an employee under the fairy's care is assigned to a different containment unit, they will immediately die and be consumed by the fairies. Huh? Wait, what? Hang on, redo on that one? If an employee under the fairy's care is assigned to a different containment unit, they will immediately die and be consumed by the fairies. I'm gonna check this now because the fairies are now visually gone. So I'm gonna send Bungus. Okay, it's only when the fairy graphic is there. All right, instinct is good for this. So stem cell, I want you just on the fairy 24 seven right now. Okay. Dingle dangle, we need to level up some more dingle dangle. Shrimgus on that. Fairy is breaking out. I repeat, the fairy is breaking out. 
Yeah, no, they're they're just fairies. They're little f freaky little creatures. Uh, fairies protect our employees. If you act out of goodness of your heart and are a lover of nature, then the fairies will gladly take care of you. Uh, when Walter, who was under the care of the fairies, died in another in the room of another abnormality, we noticed some anomalies. His stomach and face were ripped off, and his eyeballs and organs were damaged as if they were eaten by something. Moreover, the containment unit Walter was found in was for an abnormality that causes psychological damage. Meanwhile, the fairies had someone's blood and flesh smeared all over their mouths. We didn't bother to examine them to find out whose flesh and blood it was. The fairies are no more than carniv carnivorous monsters and their protection is their method to keep their meat fresh. When an employee enters another containment unit, they gobble them up and fear they would lose their food to someone else. Yeah, that's a Zayin. That's a nice friendly creature. Beat the fairy up. Keep hitting it. <laughs> Don't stop. We're doing a good deed. Dingle dangle. At least all the stuff we have right now is very easily manageable. Like all of our stuff is like we can kind of turn our brains off for everything in the game right now. Which is nice. Aside from like just keeping track of the fairy thing for a couple of seconds. Uh, I still need to... They can't escape, so we're good on that. Their weapon is okay. We do need red weapons. Uh, their armor is equivalent to the armor of uh, one sin, which is nice. Doubt has entered the facility. I repeat. Doubt has entered the facility. That's not good. Yeah, it's some kind of dawn of the dawn of green. Uh, Evangeline and Bungus. Please beat the crap out of that thing till it's dead. <laughs> Apprehend that. The other one's in there. I just gotta keep track of everyone's health. Damn, I forgot about, forgot about the rocket launcher. Okay, it's dealt with down there. Uh, I'm assuming these guys will be okay. Yeah, they're not taking that much damage wrong. I just can't see their health yet. Okay. Today's done. Easy, man. Easy, man. Piece of cake. S. Four, two, up to three. Everything's going well. Yeah, we're not going to destroy them. It's like that. Over time, her unbearable sorrow grew into a mournful obsession, covered in countless lengthy hairs. When the roses bloomed in the garden, they prayed for them to be red. You see a song in front of you. It's approaching, becoming more colorful by the second. Okay, hair, roses, or a colorful song. Vote now, or, or regret it for the rest of your life. If you don't vote one, you are bald. I'm not bald. You can't, it, then I don't see why you didn't vote one. You know, I'm not saying that's what we should pick. I'm just saying people that vote two or three are probably bald and hate hair. Probably have a hatred for it. That's all I'm saying, man. Anyways, it looks like three is the winner. Yeah, that's going to be three. Is the winner. Ship it. Hey, at least we don't have the horrible button. 
Display damage. Yeah. Uh, no, we want display HP. Thank you. Mm, we have three lob points. I'd rather not spend any yet. I'm gonna hang on to everything as is. Uh, we actually don't have any new things really either. Oh, little horrible creature. All right. Uh, go in there and try to understand it, Bungus. Actually, stem cell, you do it. What is this thing? That doesn't look like a song. An abnormality that resembles a child's innocent doodles. Originally, it had no stable form. Its shape would continually morph. To this day, its aspects still change, albeit at a much slower pace. Component analysis has revealed that the abnormality consists of matter that does not exist on Earth. It is notably... It is notable for its metaphysical appearance that one cannot explain with words. Looks like a big pile of fucking shit. Alright, it does black damage. That's not good. We're vulnerable to that. But we'll be okay. We'll live. Ooh, okay, Bungus definitely can't help with that. Uh, we'll have to have Evangeline handle this thing today. When the work results were normal, the Quifloff counter lowered with the normal probability. Very cool. I love it when I get punished for being okay. Better pray to God it never escapes this containment cell. I will fucking rip it in half. All right. Uh, try attaching to it, Evangeline. Meanwhile, Scorched Girl in sight, Bozo, Dingle. You see, now what we do, chat, is we neglect the fairies forever. <laughs> Let me tell you something. That fucking asshole can't escape, and that means we ignore the fairies for the rest of our goddamn life. We're never talking to them again. Yeah, right, dude. I send a weirdo over to Dingle Dangle. It's time. This guy is a monster. Whatever, man. Having health bars is very nice, though. When the work result was bad, Quifloff lower counter lowered. When employee odily panicked during work, the Quifloff counter lowered. Okay, this is a very basic creature that escapes and does bullshit to us, is what it is. Damn it. Ah, uh, fuck. Ugh. Just instinct. Instinct on Evangeline. They'll heal while they're doing it. That's cool, I guess. Uh, oppression on Dungi. Uh, what was it? Attachment was best on... Evan Evangeline will have to have do it again. We'll have to wait until they're done healing from Fairy Festival. Don't want them to get fucking eaten. We know the rules. Uh, weirdo over there. Gotta wait for Evangeline's fairies to disappear. Okay. Everything's gonna be fine. We only hang out with the fairies if they melt down. We also have a dawn coming in a minute, which is gonna be annoying. All right, insight on Bozo. Keep everyone else out. I want the uh, dawn to happen. I want to keep everyone ready for the dawn. It's time. The fruit of understanding. Oh, this one's easy. You guys go over there and kill that one. All of you... Go down here and kill this one. Get them! Wow, the spear does so much damage or whatever that thing is. Oh my god. All right. It's over. Hit him with the rocket! Yeah, that thing does a lot of damage. All right. 
our energy quota is pretty much done. We're gonna instinct bad attachment good. But only up to two. Stab a saddle over there, please. Bozo over there, please. Dingle dangle. Instinct. All right, another easy day. We're moving fast, Chad. We're moving really fast. Very good, piece of cake. I might run this a couple more times just to get a... Uh, get a little bit more XP. I'm realizing now it doesn't do enough damage really to kill any of my guys, so I'm just gonna send them in. Anyways, why are you guys still there? Go back. Any more dingle dangle armor? We still want that last spear. That's like one of the last things we want. Instinct. Bozo, get in there. We, we neglect everything else in the facility. Okay, uh, Bungus, go over there. Okay. So now, yes, this is the first thing on our, in our entire facility that can actually escape. Uh, we do really want its weapon, uh, black damage, so. We want the weapon. So this is definitely something we will farm. Okay, uh, we'll do this one more time and then we'll continue to the next day. Damn it, I want to unlock the thing. Easy, man. Is there anyone that's in the danger of being hypnotized yet? Fuck! Wait, no, that's temperance. That's not prudence, that's temperance. Okay, no one has a high enough thing that I need to level them up yet, because it's prudence for Dingle Dangle. Everyone's okay. Okay, what's really pitiful is people like you dying to the likes of me. One day you'll understand the meaning of the desperation on their faces when the roulette spins. Why did you despise us so? One, two, I may reserve a veto for this one, depending on what it is. I think I get one of those. Oh, it's not gonna matter. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say that uh, I'm not really sure I'm interested in uh, taking the one that sounds like an actual dice roll roulette thing. I don't really feel like uh, taking that. But three sounds interesting. Yeah, three looks like it's gonna win this. I don't need to. Skip. Why do you despise us so? Skip! Complete five insight works easy. We didn't even actually discover what that one was. Anyways, we should hire a new character. We're gonna hire, their name is gonna be, no. Nyalarat. The Destroyer of Worlds. Nyalarat. The Cursed One. El... Dim... Demon. El Demon. 
Oh, I gotta craft another Zion outfit. Or one, one for one for the Jesus. Yeah, let me do that right now. Because I think Timothy, Timothy was wearing it, or whoever the fuck it was, and they died with it on. Who the fuck is this creep? Oh, what the fuck is this? What did you guys have me take? What the fuck is that? What the hell is that? All right, absolve. <laughs> no, no. What do you mean absolve? <laughs> no, we don't talk to that one. Get back to work over it. No, fuck. I have to. I have to do this. Insight. Bungus. Let's get that fucking bread, dude. Let's go get. Let's get back on that grind. Bungus, be cool, man. One? Oh, this is a new tier. This is not Teth. This is not Zayin or Teth. I can tell by how much energy it's making. But Insight seems to be good. Which means uh, it's probably bad. They do white damage. But not a lot. Bozo died. <laughs> Fuck you talking about Bozo died. Where is Bozo? What do you mean Bozo died? I don't know, Bozo fucking died. Explain. It's okay, chat. Evidently these did something to him. We can reset the day and get Bozo back, but I need to know what happened. When an employee finished work with another abnormality, the uh, counter decreased. When the insight work result was good, the counter increased. That's good. Upon finishing repression work, the, the counter dropped to zero. When Kwaifloff counter reached zero, the hallway of the abnormality was in flooded with water. Employees attempting to traverse the flooded hallway were dealt heavy white damage. Was it Dingle fucking Dangle? No one has Prudence 4. Over 3. Bozo didn't have 4 Prudence. Try the deck. Bozo only had f I got like... Uh? Okay, I'll sit here for a second. Which level was Bozo? He was top level. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. Dude, it had to be, it had to be the girl. Let's run inside again. I'm gonna run inside again, because I want to see who dies and where they die. Slow the game down a little. I'm not seeing anything on the map or any like hallways. No one died that time. How the fuck did Bozo die? Was it Scorched Girl? Maybe like Scorched Girl had a breakdown. Well, I gotta- I have to do this again. We're just gonna watch like a hawk and send him back in. We don't understand what the Absolve setting is. Hmm. I gotta watch this like a fucking hawk. Then. 
who has good resistance? We all do. All right, send it back in. We're, gonna, we're just gonna watch it again, dude. I need to see if like it was a hallway that flooded, like it said in the thing. Because Absolve is like unique to them, but it's the last point of the thing. Basically what I'm thinking is that we won't really be able to finish this day if anyone dies. Like if someone dies, we're just gonna keep pushing on with spamming research so we at least have all the information about this person. Even if it's not displayed on the thing so we know what we're actually working with. But I mean, right now it's still happy result and Bozo hasn't died. How the fuck did Bozo die? Okay, well, we'll get the last two tips. Listening to FO533's woes through Absolve uh, works at their Krythloff counter back to full. However, prudence of the employee who undertook the work was halved for the rest of the day. Nothing here explains how Bozo died. This creature did not cause Bozo's death. So... It looks to me like as long as we keep doing well on insight, we'll just never have a problem with this person. It seems like they don't have any downsides just spamming insight on them. I'm not seeing any downsides aside from uh, abnormality when you do another thing. But as long as we spam insight on this one, they're counter will never go down that far either way i don't think we do any other research today other than insight on them to try to make sure that their counter stays highest until we id them completely and know the counter but i mean i don't know why bozo died i actually don't know what the fuck made them die that's like a true mystery. Like, I don't know. We're going to start doing this one again. Just so we can unlock the last of its stuff. So we'll know its counter. As well. Because this guy can break out. I would have seen if they broke out. Bozo died again. Where? Bozo. I'm not seeing a fruit on Dingle Dangle. I'm not seeing a body. Where did <laughs> clear the but clear the room? Schrodinger's bozo. I'm 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 kept. I need to retry one more time. The something. No no no. The fairies don't do anything unless that's it. Hang on. Let's just let's go down all of the things we know that could be causing bozo's death. It can't be his clothes. He's been wearing them for the last two days. Okay. I'm going to send everyone in control team off of control floor to a different room. We already know that this, this group can be just spammed with insight. That's safe and fine. Everyone but Bozo, move out of the room. I am not going to take our camera off of Bozo all day today unless it's paused. We watch Bozo. We're gonna watch Bozo like a fucking hawk. If they so much as even fucking breathe, dude. Eyes on Bozo. Eyes on Bozo. Okay.
Bozo watch. <laughs> we are not letting Bozo get out of this one. Insight. Evangeline. Yeah, that's an HE level creature. Yep. The Drowned Sisters. They have two on the counter. Bozo watch. Keep watching Bozo. Eyes on Bozo. Is the Dingle Dangle ability... That was totally Dingle Dangle. He just disappeared. He just wa He's walking to Dingle Dangle. Dingle Dangle attempts to hypnotize an agent was over three prudence every 40 seconds. However, if any other three stats is also over three, they were unaffected. Over three. Weirdo, freaking idiot. We have you planted here for this reason. Intercept, Bozo. Intercept, Bozo. All right, they let him go. Is this bugged? Usually hypnosis effects are broken by spam clicking on them. Yeah, but he's not. But the problem isn't the hypnosis. It's the fact that I think they meant three or over. There's been like 90 people with three or over this whole time. I think the description is just bad. I think it might be. Cause this is a mod thing. We're back in old trend, like bad translation zone. It's gotta be three or over. And for some reason, it's only Boza. For some reason, the only creature this guy hates is Bozo. So here's what we're gonna do. Exiling Bozo to the fucking basement, dude. Bozo's being exiled. Everyone else, business as usual, let's go. I just have to watch, I have to watch this fucking section. I gotta watch this place like a fucking hawk all day now because Dingle Dangle's up to some bullshit. Plus th three plus prudence, but less than equals two in other stats. What? It's a terrible description. So Bozo, so in order for this to stop in order for this to stop, I need to bring up one of Bozo's other stats to three. Okay, uh, that's fine. Bozo's gonna be, uh, Bozo's gonna be helping out Scorched Girl for the time being. Since I guess Bozo's the only one susceptible to Dingle Dangle. Watch this place like a fucking hawk. Fucking Dingle Dangle, dude. I can't believe Dingle Dangle's done this. I need to know the counter on this one, too. Insight, fungus, get in there. Because uh, the counter for this one gets worse and worse as time goes on. All right, where's Bozo? Where eyes on Bozo? Bozo was supposed to go down. Oh, no, they're there. Okay. There's no way Bozo gets by without me noticing. You just don't. 
Fragment of the Universe is the name of this one. Now we know its whole deal. That means we also know its counter. Uh, we need a way to bring up its counter. It doesn't look like there's actually a way to bring up its counter. It's just a, if it breaks out, you gotta kill it. Uh, it's weak to white damage. Okay. Inside is definitely still the best on this one. Yeah, we just need to research this. I mean, I'm fine to... I thought someone was going towards Dingle Dangle. Dingle Dangle. I don't know if Dingle Dangle can actually affect Bozo if they're in a different division. Which might be the thing that saves... Bozo. That might save Bozo's fucking life. Dingle Dangle can't reach him out here. Well, I need the spear off a of fragment of the universe, so uh, we're gonna send some people over for a catch with me. From control. Bozo, I want you to go to fragment of the universe, but nowhere else, do you understand? That's fine, they're not breaking out, it's just the, it's just the event. Then we have a purple dawn. I thought I just saw Bozo lunge. Swear to God, dude. Yeah, stop at Fragment of the Universe and come back. I just keep eyes like a fucking hawk on Bozo. Eyes on Bozo, okay? It's not a joke. Eyes on Bozo, eyes on Dingle Dangle. No one fucking blink. Everything's gonna be fine. God, I really want that spear, though. Weirdo, can you please go help with that? Thank you, thank you. Oh, but, 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 what the fuck did you just say? Okay. So what's this about listening to the Drown Sisters' woe? Because I don't want to do that. Okay, so basically, if we don't want the Drowned Sister to create a situation where it's incredibly difficult to solve their problem, we need to basically surrender someone's prudence. Wait. What if we cut... No, no, no. You know what it is? No, it's not going to work on Bozo Chat because the problem is Bozo's stat isn't going to decrease it's going to decrease the actual number value it's not going to decrease his prudence number like the like the one through three it's going to decrease it to 25 not going to heat it's not going to probably do what we want yeah Lerat, can you please go up to jesus i need you on jesus duty I'm, I'm excited to see. This has got to be really good gear. Non-escaping entity. Okay. Where the fuck is Bozo? I ordered them to go downstairs. Did they listen? They listened. Okay. Eyes on Dingle Dangle. No one's died. It seems like just watching Bozo has led to a situation where Dingle Dangle will not try to kill Bozo. That or taking him out of the facility actually did work. I mean, it's 
a fair decision to just be like, all right, we'll just keep low level guys in first zone. You know, like not a big deal. Okay. Okay, that is actually good armor that even gives you a little bit of pale resistance. We just need 150 fucking PE boxes to get it. I mean, this is... This is one of the best, like, power generators in the game, I think. I'm not gonna complain having more power, though we do have a Purple Dawn coming. But once we're done with this research, the day will end. Uh, Fruit of Understanding... We know this one. Uh, what's this? Yalaret. As long as no one goes for that ding dang, dingle dangle, everything's gonna be okay. Yalaret! I order you to turn around! Chat, I have zero- chat, people are like, you can fucking click on him to give him, to like, break the hypnosis. Not working. Okay, that worked. Okay, so if you send anyone up here, there's a chance that Dingle Dangle will just be like, what's up? And tell you to go get inside the chamber? That's awful. Currently, Evangeline can solo uh, the Fruit of Understanding. We're going to end the day. For, okay, so um, Dingle Dangle is starting to piss me the fuck off. It literally makes itself into the safest place on Earth. The final chapter begins with the phrase, born again. Those betrayed hearts sank into the depths, slowly forgotten in the ever-lengthening corridors of time. Okay, number three goes hard. Uh, although, to be honest, uh, Dingle Dangle is going hard enough that um, it's feeling like a, it's feeling like this is an inevitable reset to ditch Dingle. But I would like to get the higher tier gear and what we have right now going. I would like higher tier gear. Okay, it looks like people want the corridors of time. Uh, that's usually once it has a lead that large. Wow, people really fucking hate the book one. I will right, we'll do corridors of time. Skip! Skip, don't care! Just give me the goddamn quest. Born again, more like bored again, am I right? We don't need to see damage because we know mathematically what's going on without seeing this. So we want actually clerks to be braver. Okay, well, so what's it? So what do I have to do with Bozo? So in order to keep people up here from being, they need another stat that's three, right? Chat, is that the way I'm understanding this? Because freaking idiots never been hypnotized. Shrimgus. Never hypnotized, despite being there the whole time. Junjiga isn't high enough for it to matter. Weirdo, not high enough. Nyalarat has three prudence and nothing else. Okay, so Nyalarat needs to have something leveled up to three with it, so we'll do fortitude. And Bozo needs to have something leveled up with it. We'll do temperance. Now they should not get hypnotized. Hopefully. Should get them covered. Now we should not have any more dingle dangle, ding dang mishaps. We're gonna hire 
a new bozo. Their name is going to be Gustafsson. Someone has to be the bozo. Because we're moving bozo down another level. Gustafsson. Someone's got to be the new recruit. There's always got to be one newbie. Looking good. All right. And that gives us one extra point. Uh, if stops, it'll be fine. We're going to save the extra point. Okay. What is it? All right. Hey, newbie. Get the fuck down here. Touch it. Touch it now. And while that's happening, someone please hang out with the drowned sister. Wow, Nyalaride actually got their insight to level four. Uh, Bozo, I want you to hang out with drowned sisters. Not like it's gonna matter. This thing's probably gonna kill the new recruit and then somehow kill us all. Showing me your, did they just walk in and then immediately nope out as fast as they fucking could? Fuck back in there. <laughs> I order you to get in there. I... Gustafsson, I, I, I order you to get in there and research this anomaly. Evidently, they need a better weapon or something. Maybe it's like a weapon because that it's got to be gear armor reliant or like stat reliant. So who has like average stats that I'm willing to have lose their stuff? All right, let's see if it's stat reliant because a uh, freaking idiot would be able to do it if it's stats. <sighs> Gustafsson, what an embarrassment. What a cringe motherfucker. All right, freaking idiot. Okay. Uh, let's try someone with high tier gear. Like Dingle Dangle's item, maybe. Bungus, get in there. Bungus is wearing Dingle Dangle gear. Freaking idiot was wearing only tier one gear. Bungus has tier two. Bungus can do it. What's happening? He seems to be gamble. Is this a gamble? Bungus actually lost his weapon. You can use it to fortify an ego weapon. Okay. I have to fucking remake more dingle dangles. I mean, that's fine. can get more nurses. <laughs> I just need more copium. Continue insight work, bozo. Everyone else stay cool, all right? Well, freaking idiot it didn't work with. He had a tier one. So it looks like it's only tier twos and higher. No one in this facility has tier twos, really. We have very few tier two weapons. Well, it's good to know what it does. I thought I ordered someone to hang out with Dingle Dangle. Gustafsson. Dingle Dangle duty. We have to farm 1200 million fucking power to actually access the girl, like the girl's weapons. We're gonna have a breakdown soon. Flood this place full of horrible damage. Never mind. We're so good at handling this one. This is such a good one. This is like honestly an incredibly good uh, research. They're, they're great. 
Well, that really, really, the cursed drowned sisters are maybe one of the most accommodating, lovely uh, guests to have at this facility. I don't think anyone's gonna have any problems with them. It's much unlike Dingle Dangle, who many people on record say is the worst creature we've ever had in this whole facility. People hate Dingle Dangle. They like the weapons Dingle Dangle gives, but they hate Dingle Dangle. On record, people hate Dingle Dangle every day of the week. They talk about how much they freaking despise Dingle Dangle. Weirdo, research, insight, scorched girl. And that's it. And we, no one talks to the fairies. No one talks, to, no one hangs out with the fairies. We don't do that. Dude, we're actually, it's not too far off getting those items. And we haven't had any dingle dangle ding dang mishaps. Gustafsson is barely surviving most of the time is just the main thing. Uh, but it is gonna level him up, or so help me God. <laughs> Back in there. I also do need to do Fragment of the Universe. Hi. We don't have anyone that really has the attachment level. Actually, we do. Y'all are right. We just gotta watch Drowned Sister, because if they do activate their ability, we're gonna be in trouble. Gustafsson might need help. Uh, weirdo? They're gonna have a- They lived, bitch! <laughs> I know there are sinister rumors about the wings, but I have no choice but to work here. The pay is just too good, and everyone around me looks up to me. <laughs> okay, we don't need to go over there. Everything's fine. Everyone lived. <laughs> no one panic. Bozo. In there. Fragment of the universe. Fragment of the Universe's stuff is really good. I just, they have such low power gain per day that it's really obnoxious to get their stuff because it takes forever to grind. Weirdo, I thought I ordered you not to do that. They're fine. They actually got an item. Fourth match of flame. Fourth match flame plus four dam uh, health. Not bad. Now, what I wouldn't mind is getting that hat for Bozo. Dingle Dangle's Ding Dang Jingle Jangle is pissing me off. Now, I think that's something we can all agree on, brother. Now, we all can agree on that. Drown Sisters is the easiest fucking HE I've ever had in the game. Usually, HE is when the game gets like. Out. Dude really should not have come in here. Uh, that guy's not long for this world. Is there one? Uh, where's the other one? There's usually two. Yeah. Yep, he's dead. Is there another one? Oh, yeah, there they are. Basement. them anyone but them get them no dude you didn't even get hit what's up with that smile dude we'll bring in the real team fucking hit him with the laser all right day's over I will grind the last bit of Drowned Sisters stuff with uh, Evangeline. We want to get that. We want to get that gear, and also those level ups. We're doing really good. We're doing really good, and getting like getting that weapon, that armor, that armor specifically is like god tier. That's god tier armor, chat. That's really good armor. We want that. Fucking. What's the lore streamer of the Drowned Sisters? 
Why did you despise us so? Why did you hear so much hatred that you wished for our demise? Had you spoken a single word? Had you spoken that you loathed us so much? Ah, woe is us. We have become sinners. Please hear us. Hear of our sins that we may not, that we do not know we've committed. Absolve us of our grief. No. I won't be doing that. To absolve you would be to lose my stats. I will not be absolving anything. Ever. And sacrifice my stat gain? Today of all days? When I'm so close to getting the best items in the game. You're gonna ask me to do that. How about you go to hell? Stem cell! <laughs> Come over here and finish the fight. I will right, we'll do this one, and then we're going to end the day. We could also gamble. No, no, no. No, no, we can't afford that. We, 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 we can't afford something like that, Chad. It's just, it's just so freaking expensive. We can't afford that. But I will get the Drowned Sister's weapon and then get the armor next time. Insanely good. That's like a that is a boss killing item. Prudence four. Okay, Bozo's ex Bozo is escalating hard. Uh stem cell won't be susceptible to the curse because I already have three temperance. Uh Evangeline's also good. We have to level up weirdo stats today, or he's gonna be eaten by Dingle Dangle. Uh Gustafson is fine. Weirdo has to be updated, or he's gonna be eaten by Dingle Dangle. Huh? Why are you so HD? Skip. End the workday without a bad work result. Easy. Easy. Skip lore. <laughs> Skip it all. Confirmed. All right, where's Weirdo? Oh wait, Weirdo, Weirdo's fine. He didn't actually level up Prudence. I thought he leveled up Prudence. Weirdo's okay. Weirdo's gonna be just fine. Weirdo, I need your ego updated. I need you to, dude, you can't even equip this fucking item. That is a W-A-W -W weapon. Just for the record. That's four, tier four. You can't equip it without five prudes. Don't even bother. You can't handle it. You can't handle the strongest weapon in the game. That's a wow. Wow. We can't handle the strongest weapon. No one in our group can. Why is it HE giving WAW gear? Because it costs about $500,000. And probably because it evolves into a WAW or like a left tier monster later, as is usually the case with anything that gives oddly specific higher tier items that you can only get one of. What does this mean? Oh my God. HE is tier three. Wow is tier four. Pray to God you never see anything that says a left because that's tier five. Is there anyone that can even equip the item? I mean, I could probably level... Bungus is, like, kind of the main character right now. Can I level Bungus's stuff up high enough? No. He only has three. And who has Prudence for? Yalorat. I think... Funnily enough, Bozo's the best one to get this weapon. Bozo. It's time. The cursed thing. 
And that means we can give the other weapon to one of our many poorly equipped information team members that to this day literally has no good weapons because all of them were eaten by a creature. Okay. Begin. So this is another free day. We don't have anything new come in. Which is why I'm gonna go in. <laughs> Bozo, I need you to go in there and gamble the WAW weapon inside of the machine. Go. We're going to make this the strongest weapon ever made. Go, 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 go. It's called, all it is is a simple gamble. What happened? They walked in and walked out and nothing happened. Okay, they don't want it. <laughs> they don't think it needs it. Okay. Bungus, get in there and upgrade the rocket. You need, oh yeah, you need energy. It even told me that. Well, we only have one person we use for energy growth at this point. Uh, although I will say this, Gustafsson needs help. Gustafsson needs grinding. So we're going to have Gustafsson do stuff as well. We're going to have Weirdo do Dingle Dangle. And I might also farm some more fragment of the universe which it looks like the best thing is always repression which is good because we actually need to farm that no one has any gotta be careful we go into anything else drown sister's gonna activate that's like the main issue with this one is that every time we go into something drown sister's count goes down and if they activate i think it's very bad Looking good. And again. Fungus will do it this time. We have everything for Dingle Dangle, but I feel like I just need more Dingle Dangle just in case. All right. I mean, okay. Well, I was gonna send something in anyways. Bozo, go! <laughs> the strongest weapon we've ever created. The, to lose it now would be such a shame. Get in there. I believe! I believe! Blue means good! Yes! I'm sorry, why did it reset all this one? Uh? Why did it reset the... Why did it reset these characters, despite me keeping all my items? I pressed re retry the day. Because you reset. Oh my god. If you reset the day, the progress you made gets reset too. Chat, retry the day is only the day, to be clear. Allow your Omega Lully. It resets the day. Which is why our characters still have uh, all of our items. Aside from the... Maybe it didn't. That was bugged, because that's what I pressed. Did memory repository by accident? No. That might be a bug. That's a bug. I pressed retry day unless it like... The upgrade is only per that day. I'm missing items, chat. It reset my... my I kept my characters, but it reset my items. But I kept my... Dies? Weird. 
guess it I guess the mod like a mod I guess the mod bug it's not a big let me check my egos hang on I mean it's not like I couldn't redo it but I lost all the research but bozo still has their five prudence from the item so I lost all the research and but I kept the P E boxes that's a bug all right well we'll probably wrap up for today there anyways uh, if I do another session, I'll probably regrind that. That's a bug. I lost uh, the PE boxes from the uh, thing. Oh well, that's not a that's a huge glitch. Nah, it's not that bad. We have nothing in the we have nothing in our thing that I couldn't like easily just like run like five tiers above the thing. Uh, it basically rewinded me an extra day, but let me keep my stat points. It wasn't a big deal. I had fun. That's not a bit. That's not a bit. I thought. I thought maybe I pressed the reset memory all the way to like resetting the whole facility. That was confusing. That's a weird bug. But anyways, chat. I'll be back tomorrow. Thanks for watching. I hope you had fun. Uh, maybe we'll continue this another time. Uh, although I will say this and stress it again, uh, Lobotomy Corporation has a very good plot that I am not showing you. Uh. The game is $25. It's a very well-spent $25, like extremely well-spent $25. IMO, as is the sequel game that they made, Library of Ruina, which is a plot sequel to this. Uh, also very good. I actually loved Library of Ruina's story. Uh, so yeah, Library of Ruina, this, both very good. I'd highly recommend them. Uh, but yeah. I will catch you all on the next one. If you gifted subs are donated, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, see you tomorrow. 3 p.m. ish. EST. Goodbye.